Hoops, 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 hoops. What's up, y'all? This is Hoops Legion. My name is Vaughn. I'm Anthony, a.k.a. the Internet's Biggest Hater. And you know it's the All-State, All-Pro, All-American Jackass, your boy, Day Day. And you know we got a lot of interesting topics per usual to talk about. You uh-huh. feel me? So yeah, before we get into that, bro, you know we like you know, it's like a little tradition we do here. So everybody gonna bless the bottle before we get in. Yes, so sir. Go ahead. Ready for go that? Ahead. People at home taking a shot with us. And Let's drink go. and drink responsibly. <laughs> <laughs> but um, so before we get into the topics, we excited to let y'all know how yep. we about to incorporate y'all more into mm-hmm. these podcasts. So. Uh-huh. We have a voicemail line that we set up uh, mm-hmm. for y'all to chime in, y'all opinions or questions, or, you know, whatever you want to ask, you know, about any NBA related topics. And, uh, you know, we'll pick we'll pick from those and, and put them on the show for you guys to be heard and to get, you know, anything answered for you guys. Uh, you just call the number, leave the voicemail. The number is, I still got remember it, <laughs> 567-686-8230. And... Yeah, just chime in, leave your voicemails, questions for that you have for all of us or anybody, you know, NBA related. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, but don't don't ask us about stuff like we don't know. Like I don't ask us stuff like, hey, bro, like how do I change a tire or how how can <laughs> how can I get an oil change like at two o'clock in the morning, bro? Yeah, bro. <laughs> we not listening to that, bro. Don't say no bullshit like that, bro. I no promise. nonsense. No <laughs> nonsense. He's like, we actually, bro, at the point, we don't care. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But for real, though, it, it be oh. dope. Nah, my fault. Go if, you want, if you want to challenge us on any points or anything like that that we say, hey, call right in. Yeah, for, for sure. sure, for sure. But yeah, it'd be fun, though, man. Just let us know what y'all what y'all wondering about, what y'all trying to get answered or anything. Yeah, this is, <laughs> yeah, this is our way, bro, to let y'all know we... We connect with the community. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. I like that. I like that. Though. I like that. Though. I'm weak. But all right, man. So first things first, man. We got to talk about who are y'all picks for rookie of the year, man? I, I'm i not going to narrow it down to just these two, but it seemed like probably between Chet and Wemby. Right? Yeah. yeah. But that's, that's sort of like the front runners for it right now. So. That's crazy, bro. Mm-hmm. They really like. The unicorns or the future, like that's. You, I don't know if that's gonna be like the future of the league. Player teams trying to get this type of player, but yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm impressed. I mean, I thought at least one of them might be a bust. I don't want to say like I had a specific one I thought would be a bust, but it's just like you know, sometimes them people with them frames come in. It's a little risky, especially yeah. like Chet, who had that foot injury and stuff. But he's bounced back pretty impressive, though. You no, know bro, what I'm for real, like, bro. He's big, nice for real. Seventeen, bro. eight. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, bro. like two blocks a game. You know bro. what I'm saying? Like, hey, well, it's, it's like what one point, what three steals? Two? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? And then like the Thunder are like top ten defensively just because you know his impact. You know, yeah, what I'm yeah, yeah like, for sure, for sure. Yeah, like super mobile. I just mm-hmm. see him hold, it, hold his own against people bigger than him too, just because yeah. he got that length and stuff too. So, wait, so they can't keep up with him on the offensive. So end. wait, so that's that's y'all pick is is Chet. My, mine is Chet person. Mine yeah, is mine's, Chet person. mine's Chet. I mean, I'm not doing this on purpose to be the odd man out, but I'm definitely going with Vic. You going with Vic? Why, Only why because it's like if you look at this uh, the stats, bro. Vic is has some uh, has two more points more than Chet, and he has two more rebounds more than Chet. Mm-hmm. And but also because it's like I feel like what it is because it's Chet. Has too much. He's not really like rely like that with the OKC because if you look at Vic, everything goes through Vic most of the most part of it. Like he gets to like he gets way more touches and That's he gets a good more. Point. That's a good and he, point. Like, and he has more like the he has more of the responsibility of the team. Do check. I'm do. about to say that too, cause bro, I'm about to say that too, cause yeah, check got Shay. He also tell you a red shirt rookie. <laughs> like, I feel like when you in the league, I feel like when you in the league, I feel like when you in the league and you get that year of NBA training, you know, I done uh, see multiple players get that year and come back. They act like they technical rookie year. Yeah. Uh-huh. And they be eating, bro. Cause they just had a year in the lab with fucking NBA trainers and yeah, uh-huh. NBA competition and practice and stuff like that. So uh-huh. it's just like, I don't know. I mean, you got have your own argument with that on if that's fair, if the league should change that rule and stuff. It's like, oh, if you missed your rookie year, you missed it. Nigga. You yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> I, I believe so. Though. I believe so. Because this day, I still don't believe Joel and B should have got that rookie of the year award. I still, I, I'm, I'm big on that. One. I'm not. I, hey, I don't think Ben Simmons should have got that one. You know what I'm saying? So we anti hey, Philly. Yeah, 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 bro, no, <laughs> so we anti Philly. Donovan <laughs> Mitchell was playing so great that year. So you know great, I was so bro. upset he got Ben Simmons was in the running for it this year until he got injured. 
<laughs> I'm weak, bro. You funny, bro. That boy's still trying to win the war, bro. Give it up to somebody else. <laughs> he said, that's all I got. That boy, that boy that had the same production since then. <laughs> I swear. No improvement at bro, all, bro. Same play. No he didn't develop no mid, no mid range, no jump shot. Just, I'm going to run and pass. That's all I'm doing. I swear. <laughs> but for real, though. But yeah, I, I, I can understand the Wemby thing because it's like, this man came in young as hell mm. and like he got the whole team to himself, bro. And I guess you can't really take. I mean, you. It depends. I feel like it depends on if you take winning into account with your rookie of the year vote. Because Spurs I mean, is what fifteen straight right now as yeah, of today. Yeah, yeah I was gonna say they're, yeah. they're the second seed right now. Okay, C is and stuff yeah, like that. Yeah, so Spurs like, on that fifteen game losing streak, but <laughs> but it's like, like they're not the worst though. They're not the worst. But it's like they never like. It's, uh, but damn, if Wemby was on the Thunder and Chet was on the Spurs, no, nah, it would probably be different. But like, but like, I just look at the efficiency that Chet's been playing with for. But once again, though, you know, like you know, Chet, I'm like, a big fan of efficiency. Yeah, too. yeah. But it's like, but it's like he's gonna be a 50, 40, 90 player in like the future because he's already Dang, almost there so. like if you look at it if you look yeah, at his stats yeah. right now he's like almost there the he only thing that's be. lacking is his free throw percentage yeah, which is, yeah. and that's funny I'm glad you said that bro because I'm like I know when you're going to point the efficiency out because I have to go back and look at that <laughs> because I have to go back and look at that because I'm like yeah that is true like Chet is has a better for si- like proficiency but think about it bro there's like certain games bro he does not crack over double digits in like in attempts yeah, he's normally yeah. at 9 or 8 or 5 yeah, you know yeah, like it's yeah. like if you look at Wimby's uh, shot attempts, they are always going to be over double digits. Agreed. So, I, I did check that also because because he does shoot more frequently than Chet does. Yeah. Right. So it's like if you it's like it's it's like I'm not mad if y'all pick Chet in being rookie of the year because it's it's like this is no it's a no brainer for me. For like it's really like yeah yeah it, 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 it could go either way. So like if you go no, base a win off of it, that's why I'm not even like that mad that you pick Wimby because it's kind of like yeah I, yeah I kinda, you know and I, and I definitely see like he's. Wemby has more like expectations on him yeah. when it yeah. comes to his team. Honestly, I didn't even have like a strong opinion until like just now on it. Like, <laughs> I still don't have a strong opinion on it. Like, I'm still second guessing it a little bit because it's like it's still early. You though. make yeah, like, it's a yeah. good point though. Like, Wemby, it's t- really his real first year, and he's on a team with like it's not the thunder. It's not the thunder, bro. He's like, on a team with babies. He's like it's a team full of babies. Yeah, so it's like man, I gotta give him his credit because I know that's hard, bro. Yeah, yeah. God, I know that's way harder than the situation that Chet oh, is God. in. But Chet looks so good, bro. Sometimes, like, but he's it's, like, it's, I feel like so. Would you say is Chet more of a star or more of a complimentary player? Oh, he's gonna be a star. I think he's gonna be a star, like a, like a secondary star, secondary star. Yeah, I secondary can dig star. That. I, can dig I that. think he could be a first star one day, bro. Really. Bro, man, this is a unicorn. No, nah, I've I've seen him match up with like other elite bigs around the league, like AD, Cat, and stuff like that. Like, oh god, he's, he's held his own. He's held his own. So, oh god, then it's like, well, I think he was like he dropped what thirty uh, was against Joel. Yeah, 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 uh-huh. yeah, bro. And that's crazy because like really he can take advantage of bigs like that too. That's not quick laterally. Uh-huh. Like if he if he out on the perimeter, he real fast with that. Yeah, yeah. with that step for his size and stuff. Mm-hmm. And like, bro, he just. I, I thought he was gonna get bitch, bro. <laughs> I thought he was gonna get pushed around. <laughs> oh, so who was it, bro? What was this? What was this dog name who played for the um, Grizzlies last year? He was a rookie too, bro. He was like they call him Baby Zebo. Um, oh yeah, yeah. Uh, Kenny Lofton. Jr. Kenny Lofton. He was man. Yeah, he was baby in chat, bro. Just full fledged this. Yeah, Download yeah. this quick. Boom. Quick. Mm, man, boom. That quick. summer league like, shit. Sh- nigga did all that. And he ain't even playing in the league. <laughs> <laughs> like, like I ain't heard nothing about no Kenny Lofton, boy. I swear. Hey man. He but cool. he'll be props back to him. Year. I mean, I hope. Kenny Lofton nice though Like I would hope That he gets some But yeah he was Baby, baby in chat But bro he gonna learn like, yep. And he only gonna get stronger Throughout mm-hmm. the season And definitely like Next year and so on So Both it's death. like I can I can dig that though And another thing Going for Wemby Is that Pop been running So so hot Whatever Is that how you say it So hot Jeremy so hot yeah. yeah at point guard For half the season Like Trey Jones on the bench So bro imagine Wemby With an actual point guard Like like a Shea Like a traditional one Yeah Like, like just somebody elite Feel me? You damn near give him Alice Caruso. He probably gonna be better, <laughs> looking better with that. So it's just like <laughs> you can give him shit, just a better point guard overall. But Jeremy yeah, Shohan sure. ain't no point guard, so for it's just sure. like it's just like you know that definitely hurts as a big. You need somebody to be able to facilitate and get you to get you to rock. So but when we got some stuff to him, I guess it just matters on what you value more. But I don't think I could be mad at either pick. You feel me? Like whatever they happens, both balling. they both balling. They right both now. equal. Yeah. Like really, you fuck around, give him co. Co rookies. I don't know if, when the last time they did that. Have they done that before? That was that was way back in the day, though. Yeah, like, yeah, they, they did no yeah, co stuff. Yeah, they ain't did no co award in a long I think time. The last thing was a co was when Shaq and Kobe won co All Star MVP. Yeah, I do I remember that. Was the last co anything. Yeah, yeah, but they had, they haven't done co stuff in a long time, bro. And yeah, so who knows? I mean, 
I think people would be mad if there's co anything at this point in this in this day era. and age. Is that people the people yeah. I'm like, oh, <laughs> nah, somebody gotta win. Like, <laughs> so what the fuck? Like, fuck man, what, like why not? Like, wait, I try to tie with this oh, motherfucker. Like, I know we're not we're not equals. <laughs> oh, like I warn this shit. <laughs> oh god, they go they go mad as fuck if they if they get oh, god, both of them man, I'll be I'll be mad as fuck for real for real. Like man, it's just no he not my running mate. No, yeah, it's weird. No. I don't. Yeah, I don't think you should do co because I feel like there's just a lot of gray area in that. It's just like. You know, just give it to somebody. Yeah, so, yeah, of course. But who knows who will win? I think it go either way. But I guess my pick is is Chet right now. I'm uh, still, you I'm, can say it's unfair because the man had a red shirt. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah. Hey, I mean, I'm he, still shooting for Keontae George. And that's not a bad pick. Uh, He's been nice. He's I'm, been nice. I'm still shooting for Keontae George. I know, like his hype ain't gonna be big as who you else know, am Chet I not Wimby. thinking of that was uh, doing really good? Um, man, I can't even think who it was. There was another rookie that was like doing really good. I know Keontae George is one of them. I don't know. I don't know. I can't think of it right now. But me neither. But um, all right. So y'all got that out the way. I mean, it's like not much argument there because it's just like man, it can really go either way. But (laughs) yeah, yeah. But uh, all right. So what y'all think about the Sixers, man? Like they kind of like. Do y'all think they're gonna be a championship contender? Like currently constructed. Do y'all think they need more? Like, what's going on with them? What y'all thinking about them, man? I don't think they need more. I think they just need to stay healthy. That's what I think personally. Man. You know, like, like once they get back Kelly Oubre, they they're going to be. Him. Yeah, he came back. Okay, he okay. All back, right, yeah. all right, I didn't even know. But, like, they're going to be much better now that they got him back in the lineup now. And, yeah. like, others like Tobias Harris and everybody been stepping up. Patrick Beverly's been a real good um, energizer off the bench yeah, and everything sure. like that. So, like, for sure. I'm, you know, I'm impressed with him, but I still see, like, they need to be able to beat the Celtics in the in the playoffs because I feel like they, the miss, Celtic- I feel like they missing a wing defender. With yeah, that I mean, though. see, like, maybe, who, who's maybe, because because like, Ubre Ubre is a is a good defender, so I think they gonna put the bench, him though. on there. He's yeah, on yeah, the bench, yeah, though. yeah. But I'm saying like. Tobias Harris, like you're gonna trust Tobias Harris to guard Tatum and no, Brown. You're probably Hell like nah. with them, bro. You're probably gonna like trust, like trust somebody like is Robert Uber Covington a, and like Nicholas Batum. Is like is see, a good see, defender? Like he 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 good enough to like clamp. Somebody? Like he's like he's solid at it. I'm not saying he's like the best, but I'm saying like he's yeah, solid yeah. at it. You know, but yeah, like yeah. Covington and Batum. I mean, that's your best like, bets. Yeah, they are, are but it's like, but it's like they're kind of old though. Man, you know, still at Tybul. Tybul, yeah, yeah, yeah. But he like, but he's too short though. Who is? He was a clamp god though. Oh, Mike Tybul, yeah, yeah, yeah. Tybul, he still is. Tybul, yeah, yeah. If they still have him, that'd be cool. I'll say, my Tybul, I feel like he's just too short. Who is? Tybul, I'm like, no, no, no. But I'm thinking about Anthony Melton. I'm, like, I'm thinking, yeah, they still Melton. They still Melton. He's a good defender too, I think. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's solid. But, but I feel like that he's too short. Yeah, he not guarding no wings though. Yeah, but I'm saying like I said, yeah, like their best best literally Nicholas Batum or Robert Covington. To be real with you. Nicholas Batum. Oh yeah, they do have Robert Covington. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Nicholas Batum ain't been bad for him either. He's not. He oh, has yeah, not. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Hmm. I'm, I'm He's been holding I'm, it down. I just think of more of like an offensive player at this stage of his career. No, I know. I'm being about it, bro. If you got, if you got a he team, is solid. Yeah, he's always been solid defensively. He's like, I yeah, think about like, it. If you yeah. got a team of Tyrese Maxey, Joel Embiid, Kelly Uber, and Tobias Harris, you really ain't got to score that much. Yeah, they yeah. do have Robert. They do have Robert Covington. That definitely is somebody you could put on. You know, somebody good. He's really good defensively. So. I mean, all those guys are old, though. I mean, over the course of a series or whenever they meet up with the Celtics, who knows how their body's doing at that point. Yeah, yeah. But I mean, like, I feel like they got they got what they need, man. They got Tyrese Maxey. This man, this man step, took over right when Harden left, bro, and hasn't looked back. Like, this man's eating. This man, MB, just dropped 50 yeah. the other night. Nah. Like, bro. And the MB clutch. And just clutch. Stay healthy, bro. Yeah, that, 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 that's he's what I'm just making, he's healthy, making, bro. He's making a case for a, a second time MVP. He, he is, is making bro. a case. He is definitely. He is making a case. Definitely, bro. And it's just like, bro, bro. I feel like we do the same shit every year. Like we be like, oh, bro, Sixers looking nice. NB looking nice. Uh-huh. Playoffs come around. Same thing. Chris Paul and all, all his. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I swear, <laughs> Andrew, fuck, like, bro. I swear. <laughs> and like, well, last year he was going in with like a knee injury or something. Uh-huh. So it's just like, thought, bro, uh-huh. every year it's some type of nick or something that he like has to fight through. Yeah, I just want to see a healthy Joel and be. Oh, see, he looks he looks healthy right now. He healthy looks Joel healthy Embiid right now. In the playoffs is a fuck. It's tough. Yeah, That's he tough, just got to just he just got to like down his trash, bro. He got to learn how to get in like his conditioning up because like them like last really like minutes of the fourth, he be looking tired. He be looking sluggish. He do. Yeah, man. He really do. He, he, <laughs> 280 pound ass <laughs> nigga. Like, like, he big as hell. You know bro, what I'm saying? So all that damn falling. Yeah. Oh my shit. Hey, no, just be done. 
<laughs> do, hey, do y'all be seeing like how he be going to the basket like so aggressive? Yeah. And it's like it's like he don't even care where he be landing. Oh, like, like I swear, bro, he don't care where he land. He don't care who he swing, like who he hit. Yes, or he I land swear. on. You feel me? Hey, it's just, we just bro, that's a lot of man right there. Bro is fearless. <laughs> like, like bro is fearless, dude. You call it fearless, or you like, hey, that's hey, to be real with you, bro. That's. That's really low key a way of winning, in my opinion. It's like <laughs> he, he willing to get down to dirty with it, bro. I like see man, hey. get up and just swing, bro. Uh-huh. I just see man just get up and just swing his arms. I'm like, bro, you are surrounded by like nine other niggas, bro. Yeah. Like, you gotta be aware of what you doing, bro. Man, he bro. will fall. He will fall straight to a nigga knees, bro. Uh, yeah, I know. <laughs> Hey, remember, like, bro. hey, remember that one time, bro? You uh, you guys had a um, big entanglement with uh, Marcus Martin not that long ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah I, do, I do remember that, bro. <laughs> Threw that boy in. <laughs> yeah, him across the court, bro. Hey, bro. you remember? You remember when him and Westbrook was going back at it, bro? Bro, oh, uh, bro. I that shit, yeah. yeah bro. Wait, him and Marcus Smart got into it? I'm yeah, thinking yeah, yeah. Marcus it was, it was, I'm thinking of the Marcus Cousins. No, Marcus, no, Marcus, it was no, Marcus, no, Smart. Marcus Smart. Yeah, 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 yeah. Marcus yeah, Smart. Yeah, Marcus yeah, Smart. It was Marcus Smart. Yeah, bro. Yeah, no, he he's a menace though. But I I fuck. With it. Like he done, he done pissed me off before. Like he done wave goodbye to my team after hitting a game winner. Like, oh, I hate this thing, bro. I hate him. I hate him, but I love him, bro. Cause like he cool. Like he good as fuck. And I fuck with that energy. Like he bring that energy that's missing from the league. Like he don't be on that buddy buddy shit when yeah. you step on the court. And to be honest, they be on that. I'ma kill you. Yeah. Like, fuck, yeah. Him, fuck all y'all type shit. And I, and I, bro, I fuck with that energy, bro. That's what we like, need. That's really what we. That's what yeah. the NBA need for. I real, like man. the type of players, the menaces, bro. And, and you got Pat Bev on the team too, bro. Ah. So, Oh, oh, yeah, bro. Hey, bro. He hey, went to Austin Reeves. Hey. He went to smoke with Austin Reeves. Talking about you coming to my city, doing too small. <laughs> you coming to my city, doing too small. So it's just like, oh, bro. Oh, God, my nigga Joel will be in there with what the. <laughs> Bro, I love him, bro, because he's such a troll and he bro. talks shit to like other centers in the league, dude. Yeah, that's, that's what I love about him, bro. Like, yeah, bro, he he really, bro, he don't give a fuck. He gonna take that fine. I swear he did it like last season too. He do it like every year. Like, yeah, bro, give me the I fine. swear, give me the fine. Like, he don't care. He don't and care. I fuck man. with that, bro. He don't I fuck care. with that, bro. Like, I, I feel like NBA players should be getting taking fines more often. Dude. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Just, to, just to talk. Some shit, you know what I'm saying? Hey, you see Draymond, Draymond say, hey, Draymond, do you want better? He'll choke a nigga for you. <laughs> <laughs> see, that nigga do too much, bro. Don't you, don't you go on live television embarrassing Rudy Gobert like that, bro. <laughs> Don't you go in there and bury that man got a family, nigga. That's fucked up, bro. He's family over somebody's secret blue. Bro, you stupid as hell. Bro. Bro, I was weak as fuck. Bro. <laughs> what you say, nigga? <laughs> hey, bro. Say it again. Secret blue. <laughs> this nigga bro, practicing, what? bro. What is that? What is that? French? That's French. Yeah, yeah, yeah. French. <laughs> <laughs> bro, what? You ain't never heard that before? No, no, I've bro, never heard that we, before. You done, bro, you done blew this man's mind, bro. <laughs> bro. <laughs> talk about what is that? Sequilla blue? Is that, is that what you say, cuz? Like, no, bro, because like... Bro, I'm so bro. weak, man. Wait, hold on, hold on. Let me ask you this. What what, what does it mean? Do you know I what it means? I don't know. Oh, this man, he's, he just saying shit. I didn't know it was French. <laughs> I, was, I wasn't expecting him to say that, but bro, that's, that's funny. funny. Hell, bro. But, but, but I'll say with the uh, 76 sisters, bro, I definitely feel like they low-key got a squad over there because you look at it, Joel Embiid's averaging, what, 33 right now. Tyree Maxey over in like averaging, what, 27. Yep. Then yeah. you got Tobias who's averaging about 18. Then you got uh, have a nice Milton. squad, bro. They have a really averaging nice about squad. fourteen. Then you got Kelly Uber off the bench, averaging, averaging about like eighteen. Then yeah. you still got like bench players like Robert Covington and Marcus Morris Senior who can knock down threes for you too. Mm-hmm. Bro, a nicely built team, bro. Yeah. And it honestly goes to show you that these two men, these two men, like star led teams with solid role players, low key the better way to go than like a. A three star team. Agree. Yeah, for sure. Agree. You know I mean? Agree. Like, no, I agree. You get two solid stars. Yep. And you surround them with high level role players. Yep. Because first of all, you gotta pay these stars. So you really if, if you go and get that third star, there goes like all your cap space. So you gotta sign like booty players off the Yeah. You know, then you're minimum. not even deep enough either. Yeah, because you gotta sign minimum players and stuff. But if you get those two players that you pay the most money to and then you still have money for like let's say you do have still have money for a third slot max player, but mm-hmm. you use that money to spread it out over yeah, uh, six more guys on the roster. Mm-hmm. It's just like 
your team is just, it, it really helps, bro. We see the Nuggets who last year who was deep as hell. Mm-hmm. Uh, they lost some of that, but they they yeah. you know development and stuff. But yeah, yeah, yeah. you know teams like that work. Like the Lakers, I I can understand why they're hesitant on trades because right now they do have some depth. Like you got Austin Reeves, Rui off the bench, mm-hmm. things like that. So teams, I feel like. Death is starting to become important again. They kind of teams are kind of getting away from like the three star, yeah, uh-huh. like building thing, you know, like because yeah. that just takes up a lot of money. And I feel like your bench is just shot after that. Like, yeah, you got these three niggas, but what happened when you sit them? On oh, God, yeah, bro. The that's why the Suns are so impressive. I was, about, the Suns, I was about to say that. The Suns. I think they're impressive though because they kind of made a lot with what they had. Like, I feel like they got some solid role players on there. Well, I feel like that's going. I feel like that's going like in the playoffs. That's going. That's going to blow up in their face. It's I don't only going to get you so far. I yeah. don't know. I don't know though. I don't. Their their worry to me isn't their depth anymore. Their worry is their defense to me. It I feel is. Like they have solid depth. Yeah, yeah. Their defense is bad, but I think it's gonna come down to depth though. In the end, though, yeah. y'all, y'all don't think they have solid depth? I mean, I mean, they got the basically what they got. Um, Eric like Gordon, Eric Gordon. Yeah, if they're Eric all Gordon. healthy, which yeah. we don't fuck. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If they're not healthy, <laughs> Gordon, if they're not healthy, then their bench is fucked. Yeah, yeah. But, it's like yeah, bro. It's like, they got Aaron Gordon. They got Yuta Watanabe, uh-huh. uh, who's a solid shooter, and they got um, does um, what's his face start? What's his name? I forget Ooh. his name. They got Good Right, I think too. Good Right. Yeah. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. And this got Jeff Okogi. Yes, that's what I was thinking of. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Josh Okogi. Uh, I'm pretty sure he starts though. I think he starts. No, I think the um, what is that? No, what is that? What is the white? No, no, Grayson Allen starts. Yeah, I was just gonna say yeah, Grayson Allen starts. Allen. That's what I was talking about. Grayson yeah, Allen when they're all Grayson. healthy though. Yeah, 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 he does. Yeah, yeah, yeah he starts. I'm pretty yeah, sure Grayson. it was it was well, it was Booker, Book, Bill, Okogie, Durant. No, and Grayson starts at three. Nah, hell no, nah, bro. They've been they've been they've been starting him a lot though. But Bill been injured. I don't know. I don't Don't know. Okogie still start? Like, I haven't seen many games with Bill in the lineup. So it's I been think like, it's I think like, like he's starting for Beal, but I think a Kogi still starts. Like I think if Beal comes back, Grayson would be coming off the bench, which is also another. Either way, Grayson or a Kogi come off the bench as more depth. I feel like they got solid depth. I don't know. It's solid. It's, it's all right. It's solid. Solid. They got it's shooters solid. and solid. defenders and here and there. A Kogi and uh, no reputation though. <laughs> no, nah. I mean Nurkic kind of hold has been holding it down somewhat. At least the games I've watched. He's hold, he's held down some some of it. He at least gets some rebounds and yeah, yeah, stops I was gonna extra say, possessions from time to time. He but. did he did battle against Jokic. I think the other night I saw him battle against Jokic. He had like thirty something points or whatever. That's that's cool and stuff. But like when it comes like rim protection, he ain't yeah, providing no much protect. of that. Yeah, yeah no, yeah, he ain't, he ain't providing much of but that. But I feel like he he holds his own when he needs to. I've seen him yeah, do it. Yeah, oh yeah, I've yeah. seen him do it. So mm-hmm. it's just like maybe he just has to have that mentality consistently. You know, he's had he's battled with injuries too. It's just so crazy. I know we're on the topic of it. Uh, off topic a little bit but like the Suns like they really have to stay healthy bro they have a lot of players on that team where it's just like damn they could get injured at any moment you got Bradley Beal known injury prone type player mm-hmm. Booker done had his injuries Kevin Durant has had his injuries for sure definitely Kevin Durant come on me more freak injuries though yeah like, like yeah. not shit that just comes like randomly yeah getting, and getting, then getting. Nurkic Nurkic has always been injured for real so definitely, it's like definitely you know they just gotta stay healthy bro mm-hmm I agree. I agree. But yeah, but, but the scissors though, bro. I definitely say like, if it ain't this year, bro. Like, well, that's still my pick to make it out the East. Mm-hmm. If it ain't this year, next year they gonna have some cap space if they don't make any trades. Mm-hmm. That's why I don't think they're in on the Zach Levine sweepstakes because I think they're trying to keep that. You know, but that. if they make a trade, it's gonna be for an expiring contract player. I feel like, yeah. you know, a player that they'll try it out. And if it doesn't work, let him walk. But I feel like I feel like they're fine with all Zach. I feel like they really don't need a Zach. No, no, no. I mean I don't think they're gonna no because I think their goal is to have that cap space open for next summer. Yeah, yeah. yeah. To add players, add more depth. Yep. Mm-hmm. So, um, that's why I'm saying if they do make a trade this year, it'll be for a player that probably has an expiring contract. You could probably. Me personally, I think you could fit like a Demar in the team. They have Kelly Oubre, but I think you could fit like a Demar in the team. And then if it doesn't work. Contracts up, let him walk. Let him walk, and you have all that money spent on somebody else. He would definitely benefit him. I, I could see that. I could see but that. Just players like that. I feel like they, if they do add anything, it'll be a player where they could just test it out. If it works, resign him. If it doesn't, let yeah. the nigga go. Uh-huh. <laughs> you feel? Wouldn't even wouldn't even wouldn't even cause no harm to him. Yeah, honestly, yeah. So. I don't think they're gonna get a player that they tie up any like future cap space into. Where yeah, like, nah. Where nah. they're like, damn, we can't sign nobody next summer. They're not gonna go any player that has a contract for like four years or nothing yeah nah you know nothing major yeah yeah so who knows but 
Uh, I think they have a good chance. I definitely agree with you, though. I think next year might be the might be the year they really. So what the Sixers? Sixers? Maybe. I'm, I'm excited to see what they do with the roster if they do keep that money open and and use it to spend on free agency next year. So probably just probably get like a deep. Probably, so probably get it out there. Go get a wing. Yeah. Yeah. Well, unless Kelly Ube really steps it up. Yeah, like crazy, yeah. <laughs> bro. He really could. Like he throughout the playoffs, you know, people to make names for themselves in there, and he's been he's he's he's, 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 yeah, he's been he, a twenty points per game score before, hasn't he? Yeah, or close yeah. to it at least. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So yeah. back in well, he was in what his twenty sons days. Yeah, uh huh. Yeah. 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 So bro, really could step it up, and then you know that hey, it just helps him even more. They could just sign other pieces. So mm-hmm. we'll see what they do, man. Try to get like try to, like if like can't bro like try to get somebody like OG and Nobi. You feel me? From uh, Toronto, I mean, you got to make that's a, trade a solid. For that. That's a solid yeah, piece. Yeah. Oh man, that piece would actually probably be the best fit. Yeah, he would be. He would be. That, that would be the only player I'd be like, okay, he has. Does he have multiple years left on his contract? I think he does. Yes, yeah. But that'd be worth it. Yeah. That'd be a player that would definitely be worth it. I don't know what the Raptors would want from. I feel like their asking price is high. Mm, it's probably. crazy to me that he's even on the trade market because he's so young. Unless he's asking for a trade, but. Yeah, bro. That that would be definitely like a, a nice a nice addition. Three and D wing right there. Oh, like perfect. You know what I'm saying? Right Three and D mm-hmm. two way. Mm-hmm. Slotted right at the wing. Mm-hmm. He you know, would like, definitely oh, give man, Tatum. Would, he would give Tatum and Brown some oh, problems. Nigga, too, that like, might like, make them because <laughs> <laughs> hey, he has in the past. They got OG. I don't know what they would have to give up. I know they have some picks and stuff from that Clippers and all that the trade. But bro, if they got OG, that that might elevate them into like I might think. I, they got I'd, they, I'd actually Eastern be Conference convinced. Finals. They might beat the Celtics. Yeah, yeah, my yeah. picks the Celtics right now in the East. You said what? My picks for the finals to make out of the East is the is the Celtics. So yeah, if they got an OG, they might win. They might make it healthy. Healthy. Uh-huh. They, healthy. Might, they might make. Healthy. Yeah, yeah, healthy. Healthy. Yeah, healthy. 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 healthy, healthy, healthy. They might make it to the finals, and I could even see them beating the Nuggets if they were to be there again. Hey, I'm I'm gonna, gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna go with and be in that matchup. Yeah, 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 <laughs> I swear, hey, I, he, that's, that's gonna hey, be a tough. He would he would be banging with uh, Porter Jr. and uh, Aaron Gordon. Gordon. Yeah, who the Nuggets putting on Tyrese? You said what? Who the Nuggets putting on Tyrese? KCP, KCP that's their best see, bet. See, I guarantee you, six get OG. They might pick to win it all. <laughs> they are my pick to win it all. If the, if they're healthy, if they're healthy, I don't want to hear about no nagging injury from Joel. If they were to get OG and they all stayed healthy, relatively healthy, as healthy you can be to get to the finals, because like that's then they my pick. They would be my pick. Nah, he. I knew he was pretty solid. Like OG, I knew he was solid when he hit that buzzer beater in the. Um, I think it was the bubble. Yeah. Was it the bubble? He hit. He hit. He hit a buzzer beater on. on uh, I sure. think it was. I think it was like the Heat or the Celtics. One of them. One of them teams. He hit like a big buzzer beater on. I forgot. Who wait, it was. wait, wait, wait. It was in it was the bubble. Celtics. It was in the Celtics. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because yeah, like, yeah, yeah. they forced the yeah. Yeah, it. Was, they forced it because they forced the game seven. Yep, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. yeah. That, that was like. like yeah, that was when I knew he was. He was a pretty yeah, solid Kyle, guy. Yeah, Kyle Lowry threw like that. Oh, a dot of a pass over Taco Fall. By the way, yeah, over Taco. Big ass Taco Fall, bro. And that man just said, rose up and said, bow. I was like, ooh. I said, okay. I'm like, that's the series now. I'm like, yeah, okay, yeah. okay, okay. Man, bro, it's it's so funny because it's like the Raptors and even the Bulls got so many like random pieces on their team that would be great on other teams. <laughs> like, 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 just separate them niggas. But if you sprinkle in some OG and an OB over here, sprinkle in some Zach Levine, sprinkle in Alice Caruso over said, there, oh God, man. sprinkle in a Pascal Siakam yeah, on this team. Aim, like, bro. nigga, if, oh you God, sprinkle, me- if you spread these players out across the league, they'd probably be way better fits. Bro, disband the franchise and spread them out? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> my God. That would be crazy. Spread, spread them two franchises. Out. They just have a lot of players like that are good, but they just don't work on their teams on together. Yeah, it's don't, weird. Oh God, get it? Yeah, get it's like weird. a dash. Yeah, give me a dash. Uh, uh, Gary Trent Jr. Man, give me bro, <laughs> Gary, Gary Trent would be like God sent on the. Uh, who, who would need him? Like the magic. We, I would take <laughs> so, the, uh, my like, mama the magic would take. Like, like bro. Yeah, the magic would be like, <laughs> yeah, bro. bro. Pascal Siakam on like Sacramento or something, bro. bro. Like, bro, bro that would bro, be disgusting. Bro, Pascal. I don't, I, know, I don't know about that one. That'd be disgusting. Bro, bro. Who I would think want that'd Pascal be nice. Bro, that bro, Link, bro, you know, you know, you know how fast our office would be? Bro, exactly. How fast our office would no, be? It would be nice, though. Who would I want Pascal on, though, if I had to pick a team? Man, I don't know. 
He could he could work on like a number of teams for real. Fuck for the Pacers. The Pacers. Yeah, I was thinking that the Pacers. Bro. The Pacers. Hey, hey, bro, bro. You put him on the Pacers, bro. Oh my god. They're, they're easily top five. They're easily top five. Yes, yes, bro. Yeah, bro. They, they might, they might, they might make the finals this year. <laughs> <laughs> bro. Real, bro. Man, that would be the way the solid. Pacers been playing, at least you know. Shit, the Warriors put him on the Warriors. Definitely, they could use him. They could. That would be a solid. Get rid of, get rid of uh, Andrew Wiggins. Yeah, Man, yeah, yeah. Toss him. Yeah, toss him. <laughs> <laughs> but but man <laughs> but what about what about these uh what about these bucks man I, I feel like i didn't watch them a couple times over the last couple weeks and one thing i'm not really seeing is consistency bro like i feel like i don't know if they need to change it up with some more trades i say no or they need to just build more chemistry but dame recently said i'm you know i'm not even where i need to be at yet you know, trying to get to where he was obviously last year when he was averaging like 30 plus points. Mm -hmm. Dame is not having that type of season, at least to start off. He has come around a little bit more lately, yeah. but I feel like he started slow and averaging about 25 right now. The Bucks have overall changed their identity moving from Drew Holiday to Damian Lillard more defensively back then with Drew being that leader on the defensive end. I already know how important a uh, point of attack defender at the point guard is yeah i've seen yeah, that yeah, change yeah. teams firsthand so, yeah. it's just like, <laughs> so like that's really important and when you trade that type of player or you lose that type of player it changes the whole philosophy of the team so it's just like i feel like they're learning through that and that puts more pressure on bigs like brooke lopez who doesn't have that because if you think about it like players like brooke lopez benefits so much and is known as a defensive player now because he had drew holiday at the top you get past Drew Holiday, you run into Grayson. Yeah, and you got Grayson yeah. Allen too. Yeah, you run into Grayson yeah. or you run into Giannis yep. and mm -hmm. then Brooke Lopez. Yeah. So that by getting past all them, nigga tired. Brooke Lopez, clean it up. You feel me? But now it's like Damian Lillard. I've I've watched games where he let lets niggas blow right past him, bro. And it's oh yeah, like, yeah, no. yeah, 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 yeah. And it's just yeah, like, yeah. man, like they gotta find some type of identity, and I feel like that's what they're struggling on. But what y'all think, bro? I mean, personally, I'm gonna just keep saying it, bro. I'm gonna just keep saying it. They don't got the third guy and all. They got is a bunch of, I'm okay. I'm not gonna call them has beens, but they they. Wow, you talking about Middleton? Yeah, don't yeah. talk about Middleton. <laughs> don't talk about Middleton, bro. Yeah, I'm talking about Middleton. That nigga been coming Middleton. around. I'm talking about Middleton. I'm talking about he been coming around. I'm talking he about, been about him. He been trying to turn this season I around. I say he, I say him. I say Drake Crowder. I'll say uh um uh, who else? Who else I want to talk shit about? Um uh, his minutes ain't there. His minutes ain't there yet. His minutes ain't there, but his production has been going slightly up. Lately. Slightly up, but I'm like, yeah, man. But a lot of things like they were like, what well, they're doing, what the third, third or a second. Right they're, now, the, they're the second seed in the East. East, second season, so okay. the East is real muddy right now too. Yeah, very nah, murky, very is, murky, very yeah, murky. Yeah, like five. But I just say like, bro, I feel like give. Me, I'll give it to. I'll give it to uh, around. All star break. Yeah, yeah. If it's an all star break, then I'll give you a, a, a true understanding. But right now, bro, I just say, like, they, this is lackluster to me, bro. It's just. No, nah, definitely. I've seen them lose to teams they shouldn't have lost to. And the Bulls. I've, bro, <laughs> there's other examples. Anyway. But y'all the prime example, though. Bro, get on get, Exhibit A Talk about I'll somebody else I'll I'll hey, It's only fair I be shitting on him Lakers And they Lakers fans And he wanna shit on the Bulls And shit But it's alright It's all good But I'll all I know is It's true though That's true It's just like oh, I can't say that Cause when they lost to them Yo Pelicans lost to them too They they up now Kobe White Huh? Read about it Kobe White <laughs> All I know is All I know is though They have underperformed On teams that you would expect them to beat So that's the truth And it's just like yeah, I agree with you. Around All Star Break is when you see teams that make major trades like that. That's mm -hmm. when they should start coming around for them. So you'll see the real them around then. Yeah, and I, I agree with that for sure. It's, but it's just like, bro, it's it pisses like, me off though because I, I like the team. I like Damian Lillard. Yeah. I love Giannis. It's just like I want them to succeed. You feel me? Like what I is, do. I really do. I would like, love bro. to see. I, I would love to see a crazy ass Bucks versus Celtics Eastern Conference Finals. Like, yeah, I, I don't know because, like, bro, like honestly, bro, I really feel the Cavs can beat them. No, the Bulls no, series, no, hell, the no. Ca hell no, hell no. Do you no, see the no. Cavs in the standings right now? Like they're, they've been struggling all year. Like they, they have, have, they have, they have health, they've been having health been. issues. But I think, but I think I it's like, care. it's like, bro, we got to, we got to kind of like pump the brakes because it's like it is Adrian Griffin, like the head coach, like it's his first year coach. They talking about he like already that. in the hot seat. Yeah, I know he, he, he may be, but it's like, bro, that's crazy. It's like, it's like, 
their defense is like 22nd now as a, as opposed to where where it was last year in top five. Which is crazy to me. Yeah, which is crazy. And it's like it's like you saw last night how like Tyrese Halliburton was just able to abuse them in a pick and roll. And it was like Brooke Lopez and um Malik Beasley. Yep. Yeah. They didn't look like they were trying to, you know, hedge it or ice it. You know, they weren't on the same page. Yeah. And you hear like Bobby Portis come out and say, we're not organized. You know what I'm saying? You hear stuff like that. And even Giannis even came out and called them out. I don't know. It's just like they can improve their chemistry, but like for all the stuff that we just talked about, I mean they're still the second seed in the East, so it's like they they still got a chance to turn it around in my eyes. Oh yeah, least. for sure. Yeah, I think I mean, they will. I think they'll end their season top three, four. Yeah, yeah. yeah they're gonna be a, they're gonna be a second round exit. <laughs> I, I won't say they won't be, but I think they will end their season top three, four. So I, mean, I don't think I don't think second round, but like, but round like, but like it's possible to they could they, they could make the with. conference finals, but it's I'm just not like, seeing it. It's just like it's just like who they get matched up with. I can't true, even argue. True. I can't even argue that point. But I mean, so it's like I know for sure they definitely need another defender in that starting line. Of course, definitely. especially yes, at definitely. the guard. Yeah. Uh, especially at the guard. Yeah. Yeah. Probably at the wing too. Yeah. 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 Really, yeah. a wing guard. Really. Yeah. Because okay, but let's say it's guard or a wing that they try to get. I don't know what assets they have to give up. Like, if you look at their draft picks, it's very. Ass. I'm just saying, like, like it's very ass. How bad? They don't really have draft picks. To trade. Yeah. Like, tradable draft picks because they have the Stif- S- Stephen rule or something. Yeah, yeah. You can't oh, yeah. trade draft picks back-to-back years. Uh, so, it really restricts them because they've mostly done that. And then, like, their seconds are, like, washed. It's just, like, bro, their draft, their draft capital is terrible. So, it's, like, damn. Can they even actually make another trade for, like, a defender at the guard or the wing, whatever they prefer, or both? I don't see it unless you're trading Bobby Portis. Pat Conahan, I don't know how much trade value he has. He's a pretty or, solid bench bench player, but you know, yeah, it's like not what like, can you get back for him? Like, it's not like it's not like like mind blowing or anything yeah, like that. If but, you trade him, he's a shooter. You might be trading shooting for strictly a defensive player. Yeah, they so may have like, to make that sacrifice. You but know, it's like you know, it's tough because at first I'm like, oh damn, Alex Caruso would be amazing on that team. He would. So be. I checked. Fantastic. That's, that's fantastic, how I found out. Fantastic. That's how I found out about their draft picks. I'm like. Can they give up two first round draft picks? Because uh-huh. to me, you know, that's what I think the asking price is going to be at least two first round picks for Alex Caruso. So I'm looking, I'm like, oh, there's no way. <laughs> like, there's no <laughs> way. There's no way they can make a trade for Alex, like, at all. Like, they're just not going to entice anybody enough. Like, they, I don't think they have any tradable first. I may be wrong, but I don't think, I don't even think they have any tradable first. So it's just like, I don't know where the improvement is going to come from. It's not, it looks like it's going to have to come from internally. I don't see them trading Bobby Portis. No, or, Dame just got to be better, honestly. I don't. Yeah, I don't see them trading Bobby Portis, and I don't see Pat Cunningham getting them anything relevant. No. So it's just like Cameron Payne only makes like two million. You can't really get that much of an impactful yeah, player to I, match contracts on that. No. So I, don't I wouldn't. Know. I wouldn't even try to throw like Malik Beasley in nothing either because he's because he's, yeah, been, he's a been a really good, good player. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, it's like where do you where's your improvement come from? It's got to come from defensively. It's got to come from Damian Be, uh, Malik Beasley or mm-hmm. Middleton. Yeah, and yeah. I don't see I don't see any of them changing it. If it's one thing, another thing I know for sure is that old players are not going to change their ways, bro. Middleton's oh, been through plenty of injuries. He's a better defender back then, but. He still has the length and stuff from time to time, but it's just like I don't think he's enough to clamp anybody for you, especially not no guard. Yeah, if, they yeah, come, yeah. if they come face to face with a guard, yeah, I don't see him clamping no guard. He might be yeah. he able to play good defense on a wing laterally, but when it comes to a guard, they don't have anybody to stop no guards, bro. See, like, like Damian Lillard, Malik Beasley, Barbecue Chicken. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> your exactly. best bet is Giannis, <laughs> and definitely, and definitely since the uh, since the injury that Middleton suffered too. Also, man, he's he's definitely slowed down. Yeah. Definitely, yeah, so. for like, sure. He's not guarding no like guards, bro. Like, so I don't know where the improvement is going to come from. I'm not banking on Damian Lillard or Malik Beasley to improve on defense. Like, nah, nah. But especially I, Damian Lillard, like that's insane. Like. That's like that's the score, bro. That, he had a man. I do. Score. I do expect him to step up more, like offensively and shit like that. Though he been he been turning the ball over a lot, for yeah. real, for real. So and, and that's been kind of throwing the team out of whack. Also, I'm that's not so mm-hmm. uncharacteristic. It's weird. Yeah, yeah, it is. I, I it watch is, him real. and I'm like, he's missing shit. I've seen him make. And there's lot. just some plays where they just don't look like they're on the same page. But it's like bro. it's it's really confusing because it's like they're still kind of winning some games, yeah. but it's like. It's Not still, convincingly. Yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly, exactly. Because, yeah. because I didn't think they should have lost that game to the Pacers, but the Pacers have been impressive. So, bro. <laughs> hey, no, <laughs> no, get no. To that, no. Yeah, I, I know we gonna get to that. But no, like, but that's facts, though. Yeah, bro. Like they, they're kind of like the little brothers. You that's know what I'm saying? They ain't, they ain't really proven much yet, but it's like mm. they're, they're definitely ascending pretty quickly. Yeah, yeah, so. yeah, yeah for sure. So, man, 
let's be let's be real for a second. Another team that I'm kind of confused on a little bit is the New Orleans Pelicans. Are <laughs> hey, we talk about both of his teams today. But are the Pelicans I was are the Pelicans pretenders or contenders, bro? Contenders or pretenders? Yeah, what are they? Cause I feel like he's gonna say something obnoxious as fuck. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know it's gonna be some bullshit. Like bro. I feel like he's gonna say something obnoxious. It's just shit. logical in my head. They are so weird to me, bro. Like I've seen them compete with good teams and I've seen them lose to bad teams. I've they've had injury problems, definitely. Um and then obviously there's the question of Zion. You know, I just saw a report come out saying that he's not listening to trainers telling him that he has to lose weight and stuff. And that he has to have a better diet and stuff. He doesn't listen to that. I mean, I never had no New Orleans gumbo. Hoping to try it. <laughs> it's probably good as fuck. It must be. That God shit damn. must be putting you in the trenches. Because, I mean, <laughs> man, they talk about man's not listening. So, it's just like, um, I don't know. I mean, they're, re- they're very up and down. But what you think? We'll start with you, Anthos, since they didn't want to go last. I mean, you know, you know, about For sure. Last. To me, to me. I know we beat y'all last. <laughs> just, but not by much. Let's relax. L is L. To me, to me, to me, they're pretenders right now, at least. At least Zion I is, agree. at least. And this is my thing. This is my thing. You feel me? Like, he came out last night, and it, he just looked so lethargic. Like, I, I, like he didn't even want to hoop, to me, at least. He didn't even want to oh, hoop yes. last night, to me. LeBron looked like the youngest player on, on, on the damn floor yeah. last night. Yeah, you know, yeah. outrunning him and everything like that. I'm just like, bro, what the fuck? You know, and then, and then you give me 13 points. You know what I'm saying? Like, bro, yeah, yeah. come on, bro, that's trash. Like, I mean, six or eight from shooting. You know, you know, from the field, but then it's one of six from the from the free throw line, and then three turnovers to go with that, yeah, bro. Yeah. Like, bro, you know, I don't know, bro, but like people say, Zion is supposed to be this generational talent type of guy or whatever and stuff like that. He's not. He's not a generational he talent, bro. He's not. He bro, is. People try to tell me he was he a is. point forward. He ain't no damn point forward. I agree. With I don't. That. I don't. Like, I don't. I don't see I him assisting that. nothing. Yeah, no. I agree. I with see that. a guy. I see a guy. You. Yeah. I'm okay. All right. All right. For I'm sure. I see a guy that's 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 not working on his three point shot, sitting up there dealing with you know you know off court drama and stuff like that. I'm not even gonna you know touch on it too much, but it's like you know we see the off court drama and it's not translating to no, to no improvement on the damn court. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. He should be shooting jump shots. I think so. There was a couple plays last night where LeBron just sat back, you know, because they're like, oh yeah, sag off of him. Nobody yeah. talks about that, but yeah, it's true. Exactly, I, I saw exactly. that. I be seeing that too. I'm like, I be seeing that. You know what I'm saying? saying they, they, like, they're like, hey, he ain't gonna shoot. Off. They giving him the Ben Simmons treatment. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, like. He I damn near. Really, I can't even picture him taking a jump. Yeah, shot. I, exactly. Bro, his first thing about it, bro. His first. My nigga, none of off. No, go ahead, go ahead. Like if you look at it, bro. His first, his first full season, bro. He was actually was shooting threes. He was exactly. Yeah, like, that game against the Spurs, he hit like four in like the first that's, quarter. That's what, that what I don't understand. Disappear. Yes, that's what I don't understand. Ugly anyway, it's not even consistent. <laughs> <laughs> so it was never going to be like a, a something he splashes all the time. But go ahead. Go ahead. If he if he was actually working on that shit, you know what I'm saying? It could it could definitely improve for real. Yeah, for real. I'm curious because there's definitely been a lot. I mean, at first I'm like, oh, what you saying is crazy as fuck. But it's kind of true because it's like we've seen players before Ben Simmons that don't cha- <laughs> don't improve their game. They just do what they do. Exactly. And what happens when Zion's athleticism starts to wane or he weighs a little bit too much? You feel? Uh-huh, uh-huh. No, no, I'm just saying, like, what is his skill? Besides explosion exactly. off the first step. Exactly. And that and that shit's not gonna, you know, that's not gonna lead to no damn championship. I mean, the Lakers, they gave them a, a preview of what it's like to see playoff ball. At least, at least Zion, I'm gonna say. Yeah. I'm gonna say because you know Brandon and the rest of them guys didn't experience that shit. Yeah. But Zion, at least, you can't be looking like that, bro. Especially yeah. against the damn Lakers, you can't. You can't be looking like that against the Lakers in the in season tournament. Yes, exactly. In Las Vegas, exactly. And that's what bro. you do. You could have five hundred thousand dollars, Zion. That could have. That could have been child support. The whole. Th- <laughs> The whole Look, team. I'm just saying. I'm just saying, bro. You got to get the bag, bro. You got to be willing to get the bag. That's what this in-season tournament shit is about. No, to fact, bring the intensity. Fact, they was laughing about that 500K in the press conference. That's what they, was I'm like, they was like, what you going to do with that 500K? He was like, we know what he finna do. Hey, exactly. <laughs> he said what he said. Gonna be we know what he finna do. Diapers, formula, all that. No, we know what he finna do. Mariah Mills. Uh, who else? Motherfucker Tiana Trump, nigga. He about to go I in, bro. He. he about to go in, bro. Like, come on, bro. And, and he went out there and put up that dookie. 
<laughs> that motherfucker didn't want the 500k clearly i promise bro he's just he's just not that generational talent that that, well, that that's your motivation you need a different one exactly, <laughs> you, didn't exactly. Put, you didn't do shit hey 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 i'm gonna say this drake fooled us all bro you should have never bought that man jersey bro back in back in high school bro you fooled us all drake this is your fault drake all right if he underperforms and does not become a superstar i'm looking at fucking drake you feel me hey, nah bro y'all gotta yeah you gotta chill dude. <laughs> all right my bad my bad i forgot, I forgot. that's all that's all homie. but like still he he hyped that man up so much bro and it's no, just facts, though. it's just disappointing bro it's just disappointing i, I really want to no, see him in the playoffs no bro. no wait wait oh, no, wait wait to zion's to zion's expense bro Drake, 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 everybody bandwagon too prematurely, bro. You got, you got OBJ, <laughs> you got, you got, you got Zaya, you got Johnny Menzel. Yeah. It's like Amari Bailey. Bailey. It's like he was, he was with his mama though. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, hey man, Drake be everywhere, though. No, hey man, hey, he, he like, be we'll everywhere, though. No, like, hey, I will say this right now, bro. I should even said that. <laughs> I, <ain't laughs> gonna say. I was just say, bro. It's just like Drake, Drake got a Drake, Drake not a good uh, scouting reporter, bro. He be too, he be too loving the moment, man. Yeah, <laughs> that's nice, though. But yeah, no, man, man, they both pissed me off last game, though, man. I mean, obviously they lost me some money. Damn, Brandon, I didn't even I, bet on Zion because I was like, oh hell no, hell no, I'm not doing it because Zion put up ten points one time. I asked for twenty. Hey, give me 10 Greg did really? the exact same thing bro and Greg was so sick And then yesterday Brandon Ingram Give me 32 yeah, 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 But yeah. he has been good It was the first time Brandon Ingram has fucked me over This this season in betting land But, but bro that that the output by the whole team yesterday was just terrible. Yeah, yeah, garbage. It was they just it was let them, They just walked out, walked all over. I think hey. it was Trey Murphy was like the leading scorer. Yesterday yeah, yeah, off the bench. You know? Oh man, Trey yeah, Murphy, him and Herb Jones. Like yeah. I said, yeah. like I said, yeah, Herb Herb has been balling. Like I said, what's the trade package for Trey Murphy? <laughs> <laughs> I would love hey, Trey man, Murphy hey. on this team. My man, I will give man. you. <laughs> Hey, I will give you I will give you Zach or Demar straight up for him. Call me crazy. I know the money don't match. Call me crazy, but bro, Trey Murphy, bro, I, it's almost like he deserves his spotlight on the team, bro. It's almost like he deserves a third guy on the team. Yeah, yeah. I could give him third guy on the team. Like I would rely on him as a third guy. To me, he has that potential. He he's, he's just on a solid. player where he he's has to play solid. his role, and he plays it really well. Yeah, yeah. But he does. I feel like he could be a third guy on the team, bro. I really do. I no, think he has that potential. Yeah, for sure. He's like anybody. He um he like hits the three, knocks down threes. Um, athletic enough to put the ball on the floor, attacks the rim hard. You feel me? Yeah, definitely good. I'm gonna say now we're gonna get to a point where eventually you're gonna be like, what can you get for Zion? He's not happy here. And they're gonna get to that point with the Pelicans. It's clear yeah. today to me. Yep. It's just he's still in that early career of his right now. Mm-hmm. But I think there will be a day that they will get a trade done for him one day, so they don't lose him for nothing. And that will be when we really see is Zion really committed to this shit? Because you could say, okay, he's not happy in New Orleans. Okay, what if they get you to a New York? Or if they get you to a Chicago or a big market city, which we mm. they've always said he wanted to be in yeah, since uh-huh. he got drafted, mm. does he actually commit and put the work in then? Or is he still the same old Zion? If he's still the same old Zion, his career will be like a Ben Simmons. It will be. Eventually, the athleticism will dwindle, and he'll have nothing else to offer. So, I like Zion. I hope he steps it up. Uh-huh. And, you know, if, hey, listen, Zion, you step it up, you eat, money, <laughs> NCAA tournament, 500K. You know what that mean? You know what that mean, bro. <laughs> I'm trying to help you get a bag, bro. I'm trying to help you get a bag. I'm trying Practice to that I'm, jumper. I'm trying to help you. I'm trying to help you. Practice jumper, my boy. I'm, I'm, try, I'm, trying, I'm trying to help you. you feel me? <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to help you. Feel me? That's, 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 that's messed up, man. That's, that's messed you, you up. You know what you want the money for, bro. <laughs> <laughs> it ain't going nowhere else. <laughs> Support them. Support the women, bro. That's what you're trying to do, bro. Yeah, bro. You just let them down. <laughs> But, but for real But yeah no I got them as pretenders man For right now They not doing that Same same What'd you, what'd you say man Oh um First before I say anything bro Um Niggas get blown all the time B <laughs> Niggas get blown all the time B <laughs> Okay So the one time they get blown out Let's Let's not go You're and very run. neutral in that game Huh You're very neutral in that game I say a lot I I win Yes but like let's let's not run to the hills and say it, let's, I, I will agree, bro. The whole team looked like dog shit. I'm like now nah, I'm like only only who was it? Only um Trey Murphy and Herb Jones on the ones over double digits. I'm like yeah. you yep. niggas should be ashamed of yourselves, especially in the in the semifinals. And y'all do this, yeah, yeah. Y'all do this, <laughs> y'all do this. Hey, that's y'all. You feel me? I'm a I'm a you know what I'm gonna do. 
I'm giving the benefit of the doubt. All right, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm giving the benefit of the doubt. CJ still coming off that um that lung, yeah, uh-huh, coming, that collapsed lung. lung. Uh, Trey Murphy coming off an injury. That's true. Jose Alvarado is just not getting back together. So I'm going to say I just saw some Grand Theft Alvarado a couple days ago. Grand <laughs> Theft Alvarado, you know what that is? <laughs> no, bro. When he hide in the corner and he run up behind him and steal the ball. Oh, yeah. oh okay. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. He does <laughs> do all that. Grand Theft Alvarado. Alvarado. Yeah, yeah, Grand Theft Alvarado. Okay, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. I didn't, I didn't even know that. Days yeah. ago, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah bro. Okay. Caught, hey, come my boy Aaron Fox like and didn't see it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 he didn't see it coming. I'm like, I'm weak, I was like, I'm like, I'm watching. I'm watching it like somebody about to get jumped. I'm like. Yeah, yeah. That's really catchy. I like that. I like <laughs> that. I fuck with that. Yeah. I like, I like it, though. Alvarado. 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 Oh, I like God, that. Oh, God, bro. But I'll say the Pelicans, when they get their, like, everything right together, bro, I'll say they can be contenders. But right now, they just have to shed, like, the off-season stuff. Like, once again, I agree with y'all. Zion, Zion for sure, definitely needs to develop his game a little bit more because I, like you say, like, they'll, like, Brian with the send back is like, Come on, motherfucker, just drive. Anybody, I know what to do it. You know I'm about to pull up. <laughs> uh-huh. You ain't about to shoot it. Yeah. So just come on. I'm about to. I'm like, since you drive, I'm about to beat your shit, boy. Come on. Yeah. He should shoot it, like, bro. He really should. Like, I'm like, I'm like, like, like this, like, like, think about it, bro. He's so explosive to the point, bro. Like, he can easily, bro, be a a good, like, not a good, okay, yeah, a a decent mid ranger, bro. It's like, yeah, he just drive, boom, boom, stop. Cause think about it, bro. The man can stop on the dime. Mm-hmm. He like he's like his like um like. Back and forth is so elite, bro. Like it's like on the head, like just a like the drop of a pen. It's so quick and just so explosive. Like I think nobody can really like if he develops a mid range, bro. We got to look at him, bro. As the most dominant, really. If he develops a mid range, hey, this is random, but could you imagine how Jokic would have Zion looking? Oh my god, bro. Think of think about <laughs> it. Think about it. It would just be it would just be high post for Jokic. Zion in the dunker spot, lob. Like, bro. like it would be, dude, dude. They would do that so much, bro. bro. It'd be insane, bro. I yeah. just thought about that because I'm like, I was thinking, like, damn, they really kind of fucked up when they lost Lonzo, but you know, I guess they didn't fuck up because the nigga not playing. But <laughs> it's just like, it's just like uh, a player like that would be so nice for Zion, bro. Like a pass first point guard. There's not many pass voice. Fat pass first point guards in the league today. I feel like no, not a lot. But no, 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 really, not like, a lot. Who Tyrese? Yeah, nah, he's, like, I'm on the Pacers, but like, I'm getting, I'm it, getting it, all over. It. Oh my God, bro! It's, hey, bro, hey, bro. we gonna get to them. We gonna get to them, man. No, no, hey, on the Pacers would be crazy, bro. That'd be OD. It would be. That'd it be would OD, be, bro. bro. I'm, I'm, I'm not pushing for that. <laughs> no, <hell> no. <laughs> <laughs> they, in, they in the Bulls division. I fucking be sick. I'm, they, I'm, they I'm, not, I'm not pushing for that, but yeah, bro. I feel like, bro, the Pelicans have a legit talent around them, bro, to be legit. Yeah. To be, I feel like they can like literally compete with anybody. Yeah, because they like from the bench to the starters. Disagree. Oh. Mm. I gotta see it, nigga. They have the talent. Compete with anybody. They have the talent to compete with anybody in a series. Yes, they have the talent. I think they getting waxed in the first series they play. Depends on what they play. I mean, no, not even, bro. I feel like they can like if they, like, they, if they get by waxed. The by, by, I feel like, huh? They getting waxed by the Lakers. No. They getting waxed by the Kings. I, honestly, bro, like this. Uh, yeah. the, the I, don't, I, don't the know, I don't know. The Kings the is kind of the best series. The Kings is kind of controversial. I'll take that, that back. They, they, they put up a fight against the Kings. Yeah, they yeah. They waxed by say. the Lakers. They getting waxed by the Clippers. Mm-hmm. They getting mm-hmm. waxed by the. Who else? I don't, bro. I don't know. They getting waxed by the Warriors. Fuck it. Playoff nah, Warriors. They, they, they nah, ass nah, right now. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna nah, lie. I know, but playoff though. Warriors, it might get worse. Nah, 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 nah. They barely beat Kings nah. last year. So nah. I like, 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 if, nah. they, if they rematch the Kings this year, I'm, I'm oh, taking the Kings. Yeah, at least, bro, at least Steph, I am. Steph have a problem. I still think the Kings will beat the fuck out of Pelicans. I just think it's no. I just think we'll go to six. I'll say this. I can no. see the I can see the Pelicans maybe losing to like OKC or some shit. They I don't would. see that. But, but hey. Oh, they you would. Know, you know, you know, oh, they would disagree with that. Oh, they that's would. Big I body. can see the OKC oh, they would. Dude, challenging oh, they would. the Pelicans. Hey, we, hey, big hey, 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 we big bodies. Pelicans. We big bodies. We ain't worried about that. We got the length. And if they play, so and if they play, like, we, we, got, like, like, we, we ain't like, like, like we ain't long either. Like we ain't long either, no homo. You said what? Like we ain't long, like we ain't long too, no homo. <laughs> y'all, have they, y'all have length too. I'm betting you. Y'all have length too, though. If they play each other, I'm betting you on that. I, I think got both of you motherfuckers. I got thunder. Hey, bet, hey, bet, hey, bet, hey, bet. I'm. If I get in that, play, I, I get in that too. I get in that too. If OKC match up with the Pelicans, shit. What, what, what y'all want to bet on it? That's it. It don't matter. No, no, y'all, y'all, y'all we gonna talk about it after. Oh, okay, after. All, right, all right, for sure. But, but like I was saying, yeah, like I was saying, bro, I feel like the Pelicans. I feel like what does it get? Like I feel like they eventually have to get it together. And I don't like the fact. I feel like there shouldn't be no mystery. 
injury now. You <laughs> feel me? Like it shouldn't be no. Oh, Brandon got his um. Brandon got a uh, ankle injury. Oh, Zion has Zion a back got too problem. Much gumbo. Oh, you feel <laughs> C- <laughs> CJ getting um a, a collapsed lung. Oh, you know Trey Murphy is out for the um uh, uh, what a like uh hamstring injury. You feel me? Herb Jones is out. It's like nah, I feel like now nah, we shouldn't have any of them random. You can say yeah, that. Yeah. Like, you random can say that. Now, you can say bro. that. But it's like be happening, bro. But like you can say that. Yes, you're right. But it's like think about it, bro. They are the um. What are they? They are the uh, eighth. I think they're, they're, like, eighth. they're the they're the seventh. Seventh, yeah, I think. yeah, yeah. seventh team yeah, in the West right the now. Seventh. And it was just Brandon and Zion. Mm-hmm. With just them. Yeah. 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 And they just keep them afloat. Now, yeah, you got help from you know um, Jonas mm-hmm. and Najee Marshall, but now you got your whole team back now. Mm-hmm. So I really feel like from head to toe, and they're big, and they have death, they can match up with anybody. Now. Like you said, Zion has to figure out how to develop his game. I say, bro, this is develop a mid range, bro. Just try it out. See if you like it. Man, you know, I, just he used to, I give it a taste. To, I swear he used to have like a little turnaround where he like go in the paint and turn around and then like hit that little midi. But like I do remember something, yeah, yeah, something yeah, yeah, like yeah. that. He had, he had yeah, a little yeah. something like he that. He hasn't yeah. done since like the rookie year though. But, but it's like, bro, literally, bro, just ISO. Yeah, yeah. Between, yeah. I will, I will legs, say though, up, up and then yeah, yeah. yeah I will through. say though, his his dribbling has like improved a tad yeah, bit yeah, for real, for yeah, real. Yeah, so yeah. he's not like he's not just trying to muscle you. He actually tries to hit you with a move. Yeah, because I don't know why. Yeah, that, that yeah, that nigga got point forward. Shit, got to stop. I'm yeah, like, yeah. yeah. I, I, I'm bro, like, that's I'm on people, coaching, people, people try to say he was that's a point forward. Coaching, yeah, no, Jeff Van Gundy had to be fired for that. Yeah, I'm like, yeah, I'm like, I don't know what that was. It Stan or was it Jeff? It was uh, it was Stan. It was Stan. Like it was Stan. Pelicans? Stan. No, not not currently. He's talking about he's talking about the older coach. Oh, yeah, but they yeah, still have the older coach. No, not right now. Like not point forward though. No, no. He 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 does run a lot of I like the, the offensive possession. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He does CJ run a lot of the offensive possession. CJ and, Her- and Jose. No, no, no. no. I'll, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I definitely I definitely understand. I definitely understand it. Like like him and Brandon kind of do kind of alternate between the two. I'll say yeah, now, yeah. like with CJ being there, you feel me? I feel like yeah, a lot CJ's of that's going to be a lot of. It's going to be definitely going to be a lot of different now. Yeah. So. To go on this next thing, we got, you know, this is really going to overlap. The next three things is going to overlap to each other. But first things first, man, <laughs> Tyrese Halliburton. <laughs> My God. <laughs> Bro, <laughs> Tyrese Halliburton. I, I know y'all been waiting for this one. This has been my favorite topic. I've been waiting to talk about this. <laughs> I witness, I witness this man. I witness this man with, with me some money, and you know that's gonna get me some. That, that's gonna get me cool. I fuck with that. So it's just like, bro. He I, okay. So I'm gonna use this word, but it's just to explain how good I think he is. But he's like goaded, bro. He's goaded. Like this man is like the next goaded point guard, like true point guard. The next goaded true point guard. So I say go to, I don't mean like he's going to actually be the greatest of all time. Maybe he is, but I'm not saying that. I'm just saying like he's elite, bro. Bro is elite and he's a true point guard like we just said, but there's not many of them type of players in this league today. Agreed. But he remind me of like a player that's a pass first like Chris Paul used to be when he first came into the league type shit. Hey, like this man, I saw this man throw crazy lobs, bro. He's been so, he talking, about, like, talking about the fake little look away passes. Bro, he threw, hey, hey, bro, <laughs> his bro. whole game is like deception, though. Bro, he didn't have like 30 assists in the last two games. Yes, yes. And and zero turnovers. No turnovers. turnovers. Yeah, no turnovers. turnovers. Exactly. Yes, no zero turnovers. turnovers. And that's Crazy. the craziest shit right there. Yes. I seen him throwing half court alley oops to Obi Toppin. Yes. I see him throw, he went in the paint and just lobbed it over the whole Bucks defense to Obi Toppin for the three again. Yes, yes, bro. It's just like, bro, first of all. Kudos to the Pacers building this team. They got him a lob threat player for a pass first point guard like that. I feel like every pass first point guard need a lob threat player. Mm-hmm. Like LaMelo Ball with Miles Bridges, Chris Paul with Blake Griffin. Mm. And now you got Tyrese Halliburton with Obi Toppin. Like you need them type of players if you got a pass for a point guard. So kudos to them. You know what you need, you know what you're doing right there. But this man just makes crazy passes and like he runs the pick and roll so perfectly. Miles Turner had like 20 plus points, 26, 27. Yep. From what I remember, somewhere around there. Just from simple pick and rolls, bro. Pick and pops. Mm-hmm. Tyrese mm-hmm. Halliburton was hitting them. And he would hit them shits. It's, it's, it's crazy to see, like, how much, like, he actually, like, rejects the screen. And he's able to get, like, crazy, like, little layups to the basket yeah. off of that. Or a little step back. Yeah. Get the center switched off, a little step back, hit yeah. that yeah. ugly yeah. He's, jump shot He's over great there. at reading the pick and roll. Great bro, at reading the pick and roll. Amazing, bro. And, and I'm just watching him just break down the defense. I'm like, yes, this nigga's yes, elite, bro. Yes. I think I think I think that's one of the reasons why like like the Pacers have like eight eight guys that are like averaging like double figures, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because of how they all move the ball. 
and like I was even watching um the game last night and they said that uh he 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 may be classified in that seven seconds or less type of offense, kind of similar to what Steve Nash was running with the Phoenix Suns back in mm. the day. You know, you know, and I'm like, wow, you know what I'm saying? So when you say he, he may be the next GOAT PG as of right now, as a as a bona fide point guard in, in the league, yeah, he probably is that like ideal bona fide point guard in in the modern NBA. Yeah. Because so, of his size and, and, and how So when I say PG, that's what I mean. So yeah, like yeah. he's a true point, bro. And like we said, there's not many of like, not many, can uh, you name many like that? Keontae George might have that type of potential. I was gonna I was gonna say he's he's another one that's a, like a pure I hope point we guard. We get though. more true point guards in the league because we don't have no type of like a Rondo or like a yeah, just like, yeah there's not many. It's like, it's like, it's like, it's like a handful. It's like a handful. We though. have a lot of point guards that are like shoot first though, oh, like a Damian Lillard or Steph Curry. Do y'all yeah. think like Trey Young is like a pass first? Or y'all think he's, he's a pass first? first. Pass, pass, pass first. I think he's pass first. I think he's pass first. Yeah, I think he's definitely. He's he's like he's like second in assists right now. So like, combination actually that's why I was asking yeah, y'all. Like, like they lucky God made that nigga like 6'1 yeah. <laughs> allegedly he's, he's got some he's got, he's got some vision on him he, he allegedly he had one. size yes and you added defense to that man bro I, I still think that motherfucker's 5'11 but, but I'm, I'm, I'm gonna they, keep they, saying that. <laughs> he, he do look so short, miniature out there he look so small but they, they, they was like we can't give him everything but no Trey Young Trey Young is definitely like he's the perfect blend for real but but no Tyrese Halliburton is low-key the perfect blend too this man will give you 25 uh, he will <laughs> but this yeah. my, hey bro this is my thing though bro we, we gotta hey bro we gotta stop doing this cause like I feel like bro we have done this for the past five like past three point guards, bro. Like you saying, like, oh, they're going to be the next top point guard. You like, you know, such and such and such, bro. We did the same thing with Trey. We did the same thing with Lamelo, and we did the same thing with Luca. All of those players, the jury is still out, huh? They could be, but it's like I feel like we keep like saying like we keep saying that about the next like every point point guard who's having like that's like one high like season or high year. We want to keep saying like, oh yeah, they're going to be the next like even like the next like same thing with Ja. It was like. Oh yeah, this is going to be the next next top uh, such and such point guard. But Jaws more like a score first though. I mean, I get what you mean though, but I feel like Tyrese is like okay. So if you think like a picture perfect point guard, I would say Tyrese. The size of a point I would guard. say Tyrese. He's the size of a point guard. Yep. Perfect size of a point guard, like six five, six mm-hmm. six. Yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, like hopefully that leads his trajectory on defense a little bit better. Same thing with Lamelo. He's definitely a pass first point guard. Definitely, I would definitely say that. Yes. The IQ is insane, crazy, crazy good. So, like, I feel like his trajectory on defense is going up. Like, you could say Luca. Luca to me, I never see his defense being elite. I could see Tyrese' his, defense one day being a very he has very the body type for defense. it. I don't know, hey, bro. Like, that's what I'm talking about. Have you been watching, bro? Luca actually tries now on defense. I know, but I'm just I, I'll never think of him as elite. Not elite, but it's like I feel like now I feel like he's not elite, but I feel like. What what would you say elite like for like what third first second team defense or like what you yeah, said yeah like long if you ball. okay so See, like so like if you can make like a second or first team all all all, all defense right? like so there's, Ty, players, so there's players to me that have the bodies where if they put in the effort they could be elite defensively okay that's okay, Tyrese okay, Halliburton. okay 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 that's, that's Tyrese Halliburton that's Lamelo Ball yes like players like Trey Young are always gonna be <laughs> Trey Young's gonna be a disadvantage yeah Luka's yeah. gonna be at a disadvantage because of his size and like his lateral quickness he's not the fastest player Trey Young is small. But there's certain players where I look at and I'm like, oh, they got the wingspan, the height. They could be really good defensively one day. I think I think Luca could get better defensively if he kind of like lost a little bit of weight, maybe. About because, at least twenty pounds. Like, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, like, he could he could improve his lateral pounds. quickness. But the thing is with Luca, I feel like he puts in so much effort on offense. He does that. I. I don't think he'll ever be able to exert that same but this level thing, of defense because it's hard to be a two way player in this league, bro. No, it like is. like we see Jimmy Butler all regular season putting all his effort on defense mostly, and when the playoffs comes around, he shifts it to offense. Yeah, yeah. he's one of the rare players that can do both easily mm-hmm. if he needs to. Same thing with like a Kawhi. So it's like for me, Luca. He doesn't have the lateral quickness to me to be an elite defender, and then he puts all of his energy into being an offensive a crazy oh, yeah, offensive juggernaut. Yeah, I don't yeah. see him putting in that effort on the defensive end consistently on defense too in the playoffs. Like I don't know, I feel like I feel like bro, like you say, bro, I feel like when like when the playoffs come, bro, Eric, like the like the motor is high. So like I feel like he's definitely going to try harder now because like I feel like he's finally taking on that role. Like all right. I'm the guy. This is my team. Let me lead by example. He has to. 
He has to, honestly. You yeah. talking about yeah. Yeah, Luca, but, right? Yeah, Luca, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but but back back to Tyrese. I mean, man has hella potential and that's what hella I mean potential. by like goaded point guard. I don't I don't mean like he'll be the greatest ever. I just use that word to explain like how good he's been. Yeah. But um yeah, bro, like he just has all of the things that I think people say like oh, they need a true point guard. Like I don't see many of those anymore and he's like literally the definition of it. I, like I, he, yeah, offensively, yeah, yeah. He, can, he can explode offensively if he wants to. Yeah, he's a great, amazing passer, high IQ. He's not going to turn the ball over. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. The other team's not going to get extra points from any of his mistakes. Nah. Like, like how many players how, do we have like that in the league today, bro? His there's, there's players that might be good passers, but they still high turnover rates. Like Westbrook has always been a great passer, but his turnover rates are fucking crazy. Yeah, hell. Because this yeah, is never fluid yeah. though. He's more just yeah. It gets it to like the right spot, but it's nothing like creative. I guess like it's nothing like you know. But it's just like things like that. So like Tyrese Halliburton is really on some Chris Paul shit, bro. Chris Paul used to have games like this all the time. Facts. Streaks Facts. of assists, no turnovers. Mm-hmm. So it's just like we don't have many players like that. Rondo, like Rondo couldn't shoot. But it's just like <laughs> But he started shooting But it's just like He could hit the open shot But it's just like I mean like We don't have any players Like that no more bro And it's just like It's it's refreshing to see A player like Tyrese Halliburton The way he just Is so smart He can score Bro it's just like I don't I watch it I'm like damn Is he gonna score past that bitch he could do whatever. <laughs> I really, I really thought it was funny how he, how he really went and looked at his wrist like, like and mocked Dame. Yeah. You know, you know, you know, like, like I thought that was really funny. I'm Dame, like, this, now, I, this I, young I, kid, hey. this young kid out here talking <laughs> shit. Like, yeah, like yeah. and that's why I hope, that's why I hope they meet in the playoffs. Cause no, no, I, I definitely do too. I definitely do too. Dame, Dame respected it though. He said, hey, he said, he said, be yeah, humble first did. though. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The whole he, quote, he the whole though. quote was taken out of context when Bleacher Report posted it. I'm like, bro, yeah, he said a whole lot of, lot more than just saying. You know, be humble. Yeah, like because yeah. when I first read, I'm like, oh, they kind of is he is he talking shit? Like he's telling them to be humble, but no, the whole quote, the man's basically giving him his props. Yeah, he no, said no. he's he understands. He definitely respects Tyrese no. Halliburton, so it's just yeah. like, okay, yeah, I fuck with that. Mm-hmm. But so, yeah, bro, I. Pff, but Tyrese, I Tyrese though, he, y'all, y'all yeah, because like you see those things, but people saying like, dang, bro, like did the Kings get rid of the wrong point guard instead of like you know like <laughs> have to get rid of De'Aaron or get, or keep it Tyrese. I think that's a rare trade where both sides it worked out. You just got to live with what happened. Yeah, if you're, if you're yeah, either yeah. Te- if you're the Kings, I'm. And maybe it's hard for me to say because I'm not a Kings fan, but I just feel like that's a trade you live with because Sabonis is a really good passer on the team and he yeah. fits really well with De'Aaron Fox. Yep. And if you have Tyrese Halliburton and De'Aaron Fox, I don't think that's as smooth of a as smooth of a fit as De'Aaron Fox and Demonza Sabonis. So. I- I think the Kings, with the right moves, could elevate themselves to a championship contending team. They could. Go get Zach Levine. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Please. Go get Zach Levine. There's you know what you got to do. Oh, um, facts. Spread, Bro, Darren and Zach Levine. Oh, that Coach be- Brown. Ooh, that'd be Go nasty. get him. Nigga, who's stopping him on the perimeter? Not a lot. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't know. I can't. I can't sit up there and say like say like a lot of Eastern teams was stopped. Though. I mean, maybe the Celtics, but you know, you, you just you just high on the Celtics. No, budget. no, because because let's I mean, say, Drew Holiday and Derek Whiteman clamping. You know, on the perimeter. let's say let's say let's say this my this this my imag- this is off topic. This is my imaginary trade. They get Zach Levine, Tory Craig, and they give up Harrison Barnes and Kevin Herter. They still have Malik Monk. So you got De'Aaron Fox, Zach Levine, Keegan Murray, Tory Craig. Demonte Sabonis, Torrey Craig can handle your defense at the wing. Keegan Murray could be a solid defender, and then Zach Levine is not no slouch defensively. I will say that he's not no slouch. Off ball defense trash. It, it, yeah. Off ball defense is he gets caught on like looking away too much. He's, he's but if it's he's, on ball, if the person has the ball, mm-hmm. he's not gonna get just blown by and like fucked up. So he's pretty much got that Westbrook shit. Pretty yeah, much. Yeah, he's got really. good on ball defense. It's the off ball that has him lacking. If a player's going around picks and shit, yeah, that's okay. where he's oh, lacking. Okay. That's where he's lacking. Oh, okay. He that's can't chase he, niggas. He can't chase nah, niggas. That's where he's okay. lacking. He gets confused on shit like that. Yeah. But if it's on ball one v one, yeah, he's not. He's gonna hold his own. He's yeah. gonna hold his own for sure. Yeah. And De'Aaron Fox is not no slouch on defense either. No, I think yeah. overall, definitely not. If they can get <laughs> if they can get a Tory Craig out of the deal with the Bulls and then maybe make one more trade for another defender, that King the Kings, 
Might be nice. I don't know. They should make two trades. They should make two trades. It's plays. hard to convince me though. I, I don't know. Maybe I'm just a little bit lower on Zach Levine, but it's like it's Sound like, like it. it's like it's like it's like <laughs> adding like him it. to the Kings just Sound doesn't. Like I don't. Like I don't. It. I don't see how that how that translates to finals appearance. I don't know. Maybe I'm a little bit lower on. That's Zach why Levine. I say I think it needs two trades. I think for one, Zach Levine got to come with a defender from the Bulls. Yeah, it's got to come with a Tory Craig. Yeah. Somebody, because Tory Craig is a really good defender. It's mm-hmm. got to come with a Tory Craig or I saw a Tory Craig. I think he's like six seven. Yeah, yeah, something like that. Yeah, something like six, that. Six seven, six eight. Yeah, six. he's tough though. He's tough. He didn't though. play. He didn't play Giannis real good defensively. Yeah, yeah, I was yeah, gonna say. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay. And the son, yeah he's real integral cool. defensively. That's, that's decent though. And he's a great about? offensive rebounder. But if they can get Zach and Tory Craig, and let's say they make, they have draft picks. Let's say they make yeah. another trade for another wing defender. I don't know who. But I'm just saying, I'm just speculating here. Yeah. They can make two trades. Oh, man, their team would be nice. I think they should get Zach, and then they should also make a trade for a defensive-minded player. Go get Thibel. Thibel. Go, go get Thibel. Where Where is he? I, I don't the, even. On the Trailblazers. Trailblazers. Okay. They just want draft picks, oh, yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Just give them draft picks. Oh, we get back on Brogdon. You said bring Brogdon? Maybe Brogdon would be cool. Brogdon would be cool for real, for real. But he ain't. But he ain't that big though to be guarding like yeah. wings and shit. I would go with Thibel. No, like, like, like he's six five, but it's not like it's not like he's long or something. You know what I'm saying? To guard like wings. I mean, you know, it's a, it's also, he wouldn't be bad. Head. I'm not. I'm not also saying he's, he's going to be head. terrible. But it's but like, like thinking about it though. You got a lot of You got a point in time. Like it's like he's going to be. I'm just like thinking about it, bro. Him and Malik off the bench is going to be crazy. No, nah, it would be crazy. It would be crazy. Yeah. But yeah, man. And the next man we got to talk about, bro. The team that played later in that uh, in season tournament, LeBron James, bro, and the Lakers. This the man is still King. dominant as hell. The goddamn King. Does this man need more help, or can he actually carry this team himself at his old ass age, bro? Like, does he need more help? Does he just need AD, or does or can he actually do what he need to do himself? Hey, hey, I'm going to let you go after me. Because uh, uh, yo, this is yeah. your team and shit like that. Yeah. I said, I was, I was, I'll, I'll start it off. I'll, 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 all right, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. He, he keep lacking. He want to lack with the Pelicans. No. <laughs> Lakers, go ahead. I said, no. I, 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 I will happily go first. Essentially, you just go ahead. Go, go, go right here. You just spokesperson of the Lakers. Oh, yeah. I'm a whole guy, bro. I'm a sportsman. Yeah, bro. The biggest spokesman for the Lakers of all time. So, this this is my thing, For pod. For For everywhere. Everywhere. But I'll say, uh... LeBron James, this man. Well, first of all, but let's get this man his flowers for one. Mm-hmm. This for, for twenty one years in the season, in like in season in, in his career. Yep, it has been balling. Like has nothing changed. It's just like you know, like certain things have you know you can certain things you can say has dwindled. Like his three point per shoot, like his um his defense is really like has not been the same yeah. or like he's not that more is like explosive to the rim like it used to be mm-hmm. but this man somehow some way when the game elevated he elevated along with it yep yeah and that's why i have to say that man is really great in him what he's done mm-hmm. still not my goat <laughs> but i have to, i have to commend the man for what he has doing bro's been eating yeah. yeah, first season it's crazy crazy and he wants this in season tournament championship. No, you can see you that, bro. I guarantee you that. That came back going to Zary. I know it is. Uh-huh. This man, that fine the K going to Zary. <laughs> <laughs> Why well, he need it for? <laughs> buy her some toys and everything like that, bro. Till like, we going to Disneyland, ma. But bro. I'm gonna say, bro. Um, the question is like, does he need help? I will say yes because. We can't, bro. I'm going to keep saying it, bro. I can't keep relying on this man playing this X amount of minutes, X amount of time, because even though he's his 21 season right now, I don't know what could happen. Yeah. I don't know what could happen. I agree. It's like, at some point in time, bro, like, let's say, like, maybe, bro, he goes up over one dunk and just miss, like, you feel me? He goes up, somebody fouls him super hard, and he just completely just, just boom. You know, let's say, like, you know, knock on wood. There ain't no wood around here. Nope. <laughs> nope. Don't even say it. Please stay healthy, LeBron. Like, like, I, I, I would swear. just like to say, I would, like, bro, I just, the man has to stay healthy, obviously. Anthony Davis is really the biggest thing. Like, he need I, his they, touches. Yeah, but. He need his touches. Man's got to stay healthy, too. He got to be able yeah. to stay aggressive. All throughout the playoffs. I mean, they have what they, they have what they need, I guess you could say. Maybe you could say they're missing a piece or two here. But development is really important for the team, for them to get far. But LeBron is doing what he got to do. 
And that's specifically what what I brought the topic up for because it's like LeBron is doing what he needs to do. He's carrying where he needs to carry. Yeah. And yeah, y'all about to. I think y'all on the way to win this in season tournament. And I think y'all five hundred could. He he trying to get that on his resume, bro. He trying to get that on his resume because he trying to be. But he downplaying it though. He downplaying. He downplaying it right now though. He downplaying it right I now. I definitely would say it's it's very impressive. Like 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 the amount of minutes and shit like that, that he's been playing and shit like that. And him and him and AD are like like top ten. I think in like in like minutes played per game for real for real. I think I think AD's up there in the top. And it's like the fact, bro. He uh, has to like he has echelon. To, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, so he like, has to play these minutes, bro. Yeah, it. yeah, yeah. He has to. He, he I hate him. Like, we were winning, be like we were winning at like at a high cost. And he's leading the he's leading the team in you know points, assists, and steals and shit like that. So it's like it's like I believe like the Lakers can go as far as he leads them. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I do think he does need somebody to take the toll off him a little bit because he is playing a lot of minutes. That's why I was kind of saying, like in the last pod, you know, Zach Levine would be something, you know, you know, to to take that toll off him. But, you know, Austin Reeves and the and the rest of them guys Listen, have been have been they, stepping up. If they up. win that in season tournament, I don't see them making that trade. Yeah, no, no, no. Oh, hell, I, no. I don't either. I don't either. We're the first team. They're not. They're not my pick to win it. But we're the first team in the West right now. We ain't trading shit. Yeah, yeah, no, no. That, that's no. how they feel. Like that's how Lakers fans feel. And yeah, I can understand that because it's just like, especially if you win that. We always knew the first team that was going to win this was going to get hella confidence. Hell so yeah. why would yes. you switch it up when you just like buckle down and won this? You feel me? You're the first team ever to win it. Mm-hmm. The team that uh-huh. wins this, I know, is not really going to make any moves because yep. it's just like, yo, we got something good brewing here. Let's uh-huh. us keep it going. Continue, continue whatever how you say the fucking word. But, <laughs> 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 but it's just like, yeah, yeah, they just want to keep it going and, and keep, that, keep that shit flowing. So, I mean... I feel him, and at this point, when I saw them get to the finals, I'm like, they ain't getting Zach. They not going for Zach. I don't <laughs> see Rob Palenka doing that. They probably that. don't feel like they need him. I mean, exactly, I mean, I mean, because yeah. Austin Reeves has had some very impressive games this year. He I, has, I would definitely he has. say. And Rui just Austin came Reeves. back. He's trying to get his rhythm again. Who yeah. knows how he looks? Ain't gonna lie to you, bro. That, mm-hmm. that Suns game, bro, was so. That was a crazy. That game. was so. Like, I was salty, bro, because that, like, <laughs> bro, that that play at the end, bro, where like he called timeout, bro, bro. I, I, hey, I, hey, I, I, hey, I, 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 I agree with you, bro. I agree with you. We got away with what? We got away with what? Surprise, surprise, we got away with what? 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 That ball was loose, bro. I, I, I don't give a fuck, bro. Grace out that the ball out of bounds anyway. Was the ball out of bounds anyway? The ball's out of bounds anyway. So yeah, hey, no, 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 no. But like, like, like I said, much respect to the Lakers for. Winning that shit. Hey, you know I, I agree with you. I, I I'm not believe, hey, no, hate. first and foremost, first and foremost, bro. AD missed that last free throw, made me so mad. I'm like, you mother, <laughs> I'm like, you, I'm like, bro. He made you, it close. I'm like, you did that on purpose. <laughs> <laughs> you did this for viewership, nigga. I know you did this. Because I'm like, you got Devin Booker, KD out there, Eric Gordon, and you got Grayson Allen. Nick, you are leaving these niggas hope. I swear, <laughs> and bro, and bro, and KD was just hitting three after three. I'm like, bro, I'm like, bro, it's looking real scary for the Lakers because this boy KD was trying to bring them boys back. Bro, like, literally yeah, was yeah. though, bro. I was in, I'm a, I was like, bro, I'm like, why would you do that? <laughs> I'm like, oh my, it was like, I'm like, you didn't even, like, you did, I'm like, you didn't even put your legs in that one, AD. I swear, <laughs> it did, it did, it did, <laughs> hey, bro, it didn't even look like he tried to make the free throw. <laughs> <bro, laughs> <laughs> Dude, like he tried to make oh, that I'm shit. Like, bro. Oh, I said, oh, damn, bro. So it was, I saw, yeah, bro. So I saw, uh, who got the rebound? I think it was KD got the rebound. Like, no, 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 no. I think it was Grace Allen got the rebound, and he pushes to Kevin. Kevin's, I, I, hey, instantly, bro. I knew what Kevin uh, was. I'm like, oh, yeah, I'm about to. I'm about to, I'm about to cook this up real quick. I'm about to <laughs> yeah. come down and nail it. Hey, honestly, bro, he had a lot of time to set something up, though. He did. He had he a lot did. of time. He had a lot of time to set something up. I'm like, because I think he had uh, Eric Gordon in the corner. Uh-huh. Then he had, think he had um, um, Book to the corner, like the side of him. Yeah. So, like, he could have easily, like, made something out of that one. But I'm yeah, like, yeah. I mean, wasn't like you're Kevin Durant. I'm pretty sure nobody on the Suns team is mad at that shot. No, no, no. He, he, he definitely had a good look at that shit. He definitely had a good look at that yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, for sure, man. No, I agree, though. But overall, man, we got the end season finals here. Uh huh. End season finals tournament here. And we got Lakers versus Pacers. Yo. This is honestly a great matchup. Great matchup, bro. I'm actually really excited. Battle, for this the game. battle of young and old. Oh, I swear. So, so, first things first before we get to that. Overall, do y'all think the end season tournament was a success? Yes. 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 Big yes. success? Yes. Big yes. success. I feel like it was definitely, it got like, it, it was competitive. 
they got the viewership and stuff like that. What people wanted to see. The fact he went to Vegas. I know Vegas had a big time with that one. I swear. Had a great yeah. time with that one. Man, the crowd was kind of lackluster, in my opinion. A little bit. I mean, I feel I like think they could have been a little bit more lit. It but wasn't the home crowds, though. So maybe that's where I'm That's like, the reason why, though. It's like, that's, that's, do, that's do the only problem. Maybe they should do home crowd and say, fuck Vegas. That's I, know, I, know, like, I, know, I know the NBA is trying to incorporate Vegas because they're thinking about an expansion team there. Yeah. But, but I feel like that's kind of weird because it's like I almost kind of want to see the home crowd of like the in season tournament team. But I, I mean, do understand yeah. Vegas too. Yeah. But maybe for the future, once the NBA stopped trying to get Vegas incorporated in the shit, maybe they <laughs> do switch to like a home crowd thing. Because I mean, that would yeah. definitely make it way crazier. Yeah. But it, I feel it like. It has a different element. But I feel like. I, I get, you fuck I get, with the neutral site or you fuck with like. Home yeah, I fuck with the neutral. Because like, cause it's like, you feel me? Because it's like, it definitely like. Because it's. Because it's be like, it's, it's like. It's, so, yeah. it's so different. It's so different from like the like the playoffs yeah, and yeah, stuff like right. that. It's, yeah. It should have a different vibe. That's definitely yeah, makes sense. Yeah. Because yeah, yeah. it's so neutral. It's like, like so no team can really feel like they're going to like, oh, the home crowd is going to be trending for us or not like that. It's not like. It's like, you know, kind of the bubble is like, it's neutral. Yeah. Go hoop. Yeah. Then there's no like clear that's what advantage. I said it felt like the bubble or sound like the bubble or yeah. The first, I mean, like think about like, think about bro, like the first couple rounds was excellent. You know, like had a great showing and all yeah. that. I mean, they weren't in Vegas, so yeah. But I feel like I'm, I had nothing wrong with the um uh, the championship being in the uh Vegas. I'm cool with that. Yeah, me, me too, me too, most definitely. Because we already know what them what them dudes is gonna do after they get that 500k any damn way. You yeah, know, yeah. You the know. fact is in Vegas anyways. So yeah. bro. <laughs> hey, Vegas gonna come up off of that shit. I say yeah, Vegas bro. gonna come up. I, say, I know for a fact, bro. Some strip clubs and yeah. a lot of casinos this, this, are about to get 500k richer. This this is really <laughs> a dope ass idea though by Adam Silver, and I have to say a lot of you niggas that was like shitting on the idea. Mad because y'all don't like new shit, bro. Like, y'all know who y'all are, bro. I done heard a lot of podcasts where they be like, oh, bro, why are we doing this? What's the purpose? Bro, just enjoy it. Just enjoy basketball, bro. It's something new. It doesn't hurt anything. It adds one game to the championship team. Yep. Like, it literally does no harm in just making regular meaningless mm. regular season games actually mean something oh yeah we'll make it more like, fun it's more money like yeah okay money does probably money probably doesn't mean shit that 500k probably doesn't mean shit to lebron yeah it doesn't mean shit to steph curry if he would make it or nicole Jokic. but what about that nigga at the end of the bench what about mm. max christie yeah yeah or, or, or yeah. obi topping on the bench or or just regular better players like like yeah. haven't gotten that next big contract yet or something like it's that. it's better yeah bro it's definitely better than like trying to get an incentive and then the staff yeah, members yeah. get it too i heard Mm-hmm. So and then it's like and it's like bro, us as fans we get we get more intense basketball you know uh, and more and more competitiveness you yeah, know what I'm saying yeah, for it's sure. like every exactly. every every dude knows that they actually hooped when you put money on the line it's yeah. like it's like the intensity of the of the person exactly. that goes up and, and like and, and I'm gonna let you I'm gonna let you go but but I feel like for the casual fan this entertains them a lot. Cause we're gonna watch it regardless. Yeah. yeah. But yeah. for the casual fan, imagine like they're just like, oh, in season tournament, they're probably lit about this. But yeah, what you about to say, sure. my fuck? I feel like because it's like it definitely because it's like think about it, bro. Like the fact like the instant tournament is happening, like, and we're already in December. So at that point, bro, so like that's gonna make teams and like, oh, we just gonna cruise the first fifteen games, then probably around the thirty game mark, we going you know. Mm-hmm. Be going to just get our stuff together. But no, you can't do that now. With the yeah. instant tournament is like, no, nah, bro. Now nah, you actually gotta try now. And instead of trying like trying to figure it out on like on like by the thirty game, no, 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 you gotta try now. And by and at some time, like you're only like two months away from uh from All Star break. Yeah. So now it's gonna push the agenda to make players and coaches try a little bit more harder. Yeah. Oh, the wow. NBA definitely timed this perfectly to where they're like, oh yeah, this is a good time to put the tournament in. You know, because it's probably a dead period for the league. You still got football going on and stuff Hell like that. Hell yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is yeah. a good time to put it Hell in for more yeah. viewership, get people Hell more yeah. hype. And it's been a success for the first year at least. I feel like they still do need to add another incentive because over the years, I feel like it, the meaning will dwindle, kind of like All Star has. They can, they can make the All Star game a little bit more interesting if they, they could, end. but I feel like over time, 500K might start being whatever to be or you I mean I mean yeah or it's like I or mean, you can I feel like or you can like integrate all star with the NCAA tournament I think they should you, integrate playoff seeding with the NCAA tournament somehow I'm not going to say how but I think they should figure something out with the with the seeding you say yes I think they, maybe they got I think the maybe little, the winner should be guaranteed a playoff spot okay they they got the little group thing and shit like that so it's like yeah. if you dominate your group you that know sound, that sounds crazy I don't know if y'all agree with that but maybe 
I don't know. I, I don't want to say I, I said specifics right there, but like maybe something like that. Maybe like winning the in season tournament gets you a playoff spot guaranteed. Um, that might be crazy as fuck if some random team wins it one day. <laughs> that would be that because like because like I don't like, see a random just, team winning it one day. Like, just I don't picture, see. I don't see. Hey, but think about it though. Like, just picture though, like, like the Hornets or some shit like cause, winning cause you, one. You, you know, like 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 right then, now they out of the whole thing. You know, they're out of the whole thing. But you gotta win. Like they, they you win gotta the win the your bracket yeah, first, right? Yeah, like, and like, they playoff spot. But you have to win your bracket first, and then you have to win one game to move forward. I don't know if I see a booty ass team actually that could, accomplishing it's that. It's like no, like so no, you're no. Like, see, but like no, like so you're saying like 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 whoever, teams whoever, regardless, are gonna win it. Are you saying like whoever wins the wins their group in the in the in season tournament just gets a playoff spot? No, I'm saying whoever wins the championship of the in season tournament gets. Oh, a playoff okay. Spot. Oh, and what I'm so, saying, that's I don't kinda, see a booty ass team making it through the gauntlet of that. They could though. Of course they, could they, go could. On, they could go on the seven game winning streak of course, in their bracket, but I don't see that, bro. It's, I don't it's, see it's a, so it's so not cool. a lot of booty see, teams will do it. Do y'all it. see a non playoff team actually winning this one day? It's doable. No, nah, no, nah. it's doable. Like, it, do y'all see a team winning the in season tournament and then not making the playoffs? If they if they I start off like that. really like slow due to like injuries or something, and they and they bounce back by the time the in season tournament, it could shake up the the seating. If if we were to implement, but do you that see room. a team winning the in season tournament and later that year not making the playoffs? Yeah, regardless, I, I, I could with, see without, that. Without, I, without, yeah. injury, no, yeah. without injury, no, yes. without injury, without yes. injury, without yes. injury. Yes. Yes. I'm just saying. Yes. yes, you really y'all can see that. Some teams, yes. some teams really do go on a slump. Think about it. Really think about it. Really think about it. Think about it. Think about it. Think about it. Why would you win the tournament? What if What if the Warriors went on a seven game streak and they just beat everybody in their in their group and then they make it and it's like bam. They they don't. I can make an excuse for that Warriors because of Steph Curry and Klay Thompson and Andrew Wiggins and shit. I can understand that. Okay, I don't think they missed the playoffs. If they did, I could at least understand I'm that. that. But are we talking about y'all talking about the Hornets or the Pistons or, or something? No, like like, like the Pistons, the Pistons, the Pistons no, or somebody like, like, like that. Or like, like the Blazers like, ain't gonna do that shit. But no, this is my thing. I'm trying but to get like, at though. It's like my bad. I'm gonna G. Go ahead, go ahead. But that's my thing. I'm trying to say is though, like 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 the bracket system is like think about it, bro. You have to win out on your bracket. So think about it, bro. You can play. Ask think about it, bro. Like like, the, like how the instant tournament is is like the games. Some of the games don't affect the instant tournament. Think about it, bro. You can lose two games. You feel me? You can lose two games yeah. to a team that's not in your division, like in your bracket. But then you can come back into your bracket and win out. You could. You 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 could. I just don't know if I see a team that's ass winning. You just don't know to be about it, bro. The tournament. Like, it's so much you have to go through, I feel like. But it's like, at the same time, like, bro, you're giving them a, like, sure a leeway to, like, hey, we can be ass all the way this season. All we gotta do is win the in season. Like all we gotta do is win the in season tournament. That's only like what, what like nine, like twelve, like okay. eight games at most. Okay, but when you add incentive like that, you also add incentive for teams that are trying to make the playoffs and win a championship. Yeah, a team teams are going to say. Fuck it, let's guarantee our spot now. That just ups the competition for everybody. But so why on- would a booty ass team that's not even good enough to make the playoffs win the easy tournament when the stakes are higher? If the stakes are higher, then more people are trying harder. But so why would that's fair. they win it? That's fair, but all depends on seating though. What do you mean? Dep- think about it, bro. Like, like the bracket, bro, depends on seating. Depends on who's gonna play who. It's like so we're like they winning, bro. Where, where would they be at, like in the bracket? Where would they be? The eighth seed, the first seed, the third seed. Where would they be? So I don't really know the intricacies, whatever the word is. I don't know. The, I don't know the word. I, I don't know what it would actually be. What the what if they did do something like that? What they would actually do? But let's say maybe if the team, let's say it doesn't affect their seating unless. They miss the playoffs. If they miss the playoffs, they're guaranteed an eighth spot. Okay, so that's so, so like well, that's still considered. But if, they, if they if they're good enough to be a second spot, then they get their second spot. So will that still consider the in season tournament then too? No. So I'm saying the rule, I guess, technically could be if you win the in season tournament, you're guaranteed a playoff spot. If you get seventh seed, you'll get your seventh seed. You get six seed, two Boom, seed. Boom, that's, so that's your seed. Wouldn't, but if wouldn't, you miss the playoffs. They'll guarantee you that A spot because you won the NCAA tournament. So do you so, have, do you so have to like, play for it? Do you have to play still yeah, play I was for say, it? I was gonna say because like what if a team like like has like the exact same record as the eighth seeded uh, uh team that you're talking about? Would they have to play for that eighth seed or would it just No, be- they won the NCAA tournament. 
So, so if you miss the playoffs, you're guaranteed the eighth spot. But you still have the buddy like them. But, but if you are good enough, if you're a good enough team mm. to get the first seed, then you just get your first seed. Okay. Okay. Well, but, I, I, I but can if, see if, if, it's, if it's a team that was ass as fuck and they won the NCAA tournament, they give them the eighth seed no matter what. If they're worse than the eighth seed, they get the eighth seed at minimum. Or at maximum. They, the eighth seed at maximum. So so pretty much then like like the playing tournament would kind of like like die off then, right? Yeah. It no, would kind of tur- compromise that. No, no, no. Play in tournament, gar- if you win the play in tournament, it guarantees you a playoff spot. That's why I'm saying add more incentive. You guys are saying, uh, what if a booty ass team wins? But I don't understand why a booty ass team would win. If you're upping the incentive that you're guaranteeing a playoff spot to the winner of the play in tournament, that means all 30 teams are going to okay. try hard as fuck to make Let's sure they take- win this. So why would the fuck would a booty team win it? When the Lakers are trying just as hard as the Pistons, let's take let's take the Bulls or like the Raptors for example, like like a mm. team that's that's kind of like out of the playoff hunt, and say they win it. You know what I'm saying? Like if they if they were to win it, I I still feel like they got to kind of compete and prove that they deserve that seventh or eighth. But why seat, would they win it? Is what I'm I asking. mean. I mean because like I'm saying, if you up that incentive, mm-hmm. why would they be the team like the Nuggets or the Lakers who want to guarantee themselves a playoffs? But spot? once again, though, I feel like that still plays into seeding, though, because it's like it all depends on like because the end of the day, like you still have to figure out, okay, well, how will seeding work? Because some people are like, well, fuck it, I don't need to win it right now because I know for a fact I can still be the number one seed right now. Like, hey, fuck the tournament, I know I can win out and be the number one seed. That's true. That's true. That's true. Too. True. They could be like, fuck it, you know, we know we're gonna be at the top anyways. That's true too. I mean, okay. I feel like there should be another incentive. Maybe it doesn't have to be that. Yeah. But yeah. there should be another incentive that impacts maybe seating or impacts something. Maybe they maybe they have like two two different like in season tournaments. I don't I don't you know, you know, I'm just spitballing shit, but you know, I don't know. I don't know. I, I, feel, I, like feel, like I feel like it's I might, cool right now. I might see the yeah, it's cool right now. I just feel like over time I feel like the five hundred K might become irrelevant over time. Because if it's this simple to just add money what is it like? Is it because they're adding money that players are trying harder, or is it because of they're winning a medal or a trophy? Like, what is it? Whatever it's making these players make play harder for the NCAA tournament, do the same shit for the All Star game. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. Hell yeah. I mean, because what I is think- it that's making them try harder? Because people always told me money's not going to make them try harder, and I guess money makes sense. It's not going to make sense for All Stars. Yeah. Because usually players that are All Stars are already making yeah. big money. Yeah, but like, exactly. like the role players and shit, it would yeah. it would matter a lot. You yeah, know. so I guess money in aspect of role or all star doesn't make sense because most of the all stars are already Agreed. making big bank. Agree. So Agreed. I feel like I don't feel like it is the money though. I feel like it's the trophy. I feel like it's the chance the to be a part of history. Hey, I I definitely agree with you and say it is kind of bragging rights. So yeah. like so it's a like, part. It's a chance to be a part of know, history. So it is, and it and it is another piece of hardware that you can add to your resume. Exactly. You know, but shit, all star game has. Yeah, all-star but like, MVP. but like, but like, nobody like takes like nobody takes the All Star game that damn serious. But like, besides like, like people take shit like the dunk contest, the three point contest, they take that shit more serious than the actual game itself. Yeah, because because the dunk contest used to mean something back in the day for real, for real, mm-hmm. but it don't mean nothing no more. You know what I'm saying? So like, we low key should just kind of accept the fact that the All Star game is going to be the All Star game. Yeah, because think about because it, they think don't want to get hurt. And they'll yeah. never want to get hurt, no matter what incentive you add. I feel like at the end of the day, players are going to come to the conclusion where they're like. This means nothing in the end. Jokic was picked like tenth in the All Star game. You, you know what I'm saying? So like, like oh, it doesn't, uh, yeah, yeah, it the, doesn't hold as much weight. And he even said like, I'm not, I'm not, yeah, yeah, I'm not, I'm not the All Star type of player, player that's like yeah. interesting to watch. So it's like yeah. the All Star game at least don't mean nothing. But it's like, oh, you know, the in season tournament would, you know. Yeah, I say, and I personally say, bro, just entry like integrate that. With each other. Like I said, like I said, maybe they maybe they need to do like a one on one tournament or something like that during the All Star break or whatever. I don't you know, know if players are going to agree to that though. Yeah, I mean, it would it would be a lot. It would be a lot. They would have to ask like a certain amount of players. To me, that's worse than asking them to do the dunk contest. <laughs> like like niggas can't even agree to dunk. No, you dude, I mean, agree to get like expose one v one. I mean, like I said, what, last... what happens when that player exposes the other nigga one v one? What happens then? Cause, cause anything, no, because think about it. You get exposed one v one. If you if you put Kyrie in there, right, um, and, and you match him up against like you know five other point guards, or do Curry, like Hill. Dame or something like yeah yeah something like that, bro. Like you would love to see it, but it's like you still it's wouldn't consider bring so him much scrutiny though to these players. You if they do that. it, it would hey, hey, it be would. better than don't be better. Hey, don't lose. It yeah, would. I, I mean it, it would. would. Don't but lose. I don't, see the, lose. I don't see the NBA or the Players Association agreeing with that shit. Cause, cause they're not gonna wanna. I mean, I guess it's their choice, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But 
I don't see that being a big thing because if it's their choice, they're just going to turn down that offer. I'm not going to see Kyrie and Dane be like, yeah, let's play each other. So, so I, our, I mean, so, I, mean so I would, critiques, personally, so I would critiques, personally love to see that. Of course, but they're not going to give us that benefit because they're going to be like, oh, the critiques are just going to be like, oh, Kyrie. Fucked up, Damian Lillard. They know what's gonna happen. You feel or do me? Like, I say, I say, it's gonna be another they get, they thing get. they can use against them, and players are not gonna agree that. You might get players of lower caliber to do it, just like the dunk contest. It's yeah. the same reason why niggas don't want to use the dunk contest. They're gonna be like, oh, he lost that shit. He ain't really that. You know, yeah. he ain't really that. If LeBron like, did it and lost, they'd be like, Michael Jordan won. Or do see, but I, like, see, but like, bro, but like, bro, that's always been bullshit, though. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's always been bullshit. No, and no, inside, no, inside coming bullshit, bro. Until LeBron stopped, like, made us and like, no, I'm not doing it. I say the 2000s, the early, like, the late 2000s, bro. That's when the All Star Game started becoming fun. Like, like, stop becoming fun. Yeah, I would say, uh, yeah, yeah, I, I definitely agree with that because Zach Levine and, and uh, what's his name, Eric Gordon, brought yeah. it back that one year, yeah. that one fucking year. But other than that, is it's been pretty mid. You yeah. need a, you need another star face of the league that does it, and then that'll probably bring it back. It probably would though. It probably would. I don't get why not though. It's, who would y'all? Who would y'all even say like would even want to be in some shit like that? I don't know who. I don't think anybody right now would want to be. Oh, yeah, in no. it. I think there has to be a, like a future star face of the league when we're old as fuck. That yeah. is like, yo, I'm about to do this. Say, I'm about yeah, to change yeah. the narrative of this shit. Because like, yeah, think about it, bro. Like, I thought just, I feel like at this point, hey, that's what I think we're coming with right now, bro. Like, I thought like, Anthony Edwards would be that type of player. He yeah. he he could be him. Ja. Say, I, think about it. Imagine ja, him. Say, imagine yeah. him. Ja yeah, and and, and, and Zion. Yeah. All in the same dunk Zion contest, doing it, bro. I think I think that would go crazy. I just mean in terms of that mentality. I don't, I don't see Zion or Ja doing it. No, and Anthony Edwards to me is like a fuck it. I'm about to change the narrative type of player. <laughs> you like know? Even and, and we need a player it. like that to change the narrative because, like you said, LeBron came in and changed the narrative. We have a player that's the face of the league. They can yeah. do that. They have that type of power to change the narrative and what other players think is cool or not. Oh God, they naturally. Nick, that's yeah, just what it is. Exactly, Influence. exactly, bro. Think about it. Kobe as a rookie did it. Yeah. So you need a player like that that comes in and sets the tone. And then does it, and then makes it seem cool again. Yeah, okay. you feel me. But that'd be that'd be the only way. I mean, I don't know. We we didn't got off topic, but yeah, no. I mean, the NCAA <laughs> tournament, the NCAA tournament was a success. For it was sure. a hit. Yes, yes. Most hey, give, so, give your pass again. Round of, round of applause. Bro, Adam Silver, y'all. shout out to Adam Silver, Silver y'all. Yes. Final Silver. final question though, before we go, man. Lakers, Pel- Lakers, Pel- uh, Pacers. Who you got? I got I got Pacers. I have Pacers personally. You got Lakers? <laughs> of course, nigga. You know I'm going to Lakers. For sure. Uh, I'm going Big to Lakers. Bron. For sure. I know LeBron want that. I Big think Bron. I think my man's Tyrese Halliburton is definitely motivated. I think I think he can take His it. Buddy Hill gonna show up. That's all I know. The only thing big. the only thing that scares me is like it's like the Pacers defense in the paint is not as elite. And it's, it's like not, it's, it's not like it's not, it's, not, it's, yeah, it's not bad, but it's not elite. You said Obi Top in. You like Miles Turner be battling down there, but yeah. it's but but Giannis had like what like forty or some shit like that, bro. So it's like uh, yeah. you know. Ooh, this is about to be a good game, though. I'm definitely going to watch it, yeah. man. I'm about to watch it. Fuck out of this game. Show. Show. I'm excited show. to see how Tyrese do, man. Let's show. Let's I'm excited show. to see his performance. If they win, I won't be surprised. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Hey, hey, hey. Young, young, young man deserved this one. If he he win, does, he, he does. He deserved this one, for sure. It's going to be a good-ass game. Hell of a game. I hope it is, shit. <laughs> but, hey, man, that's all for today. Uh, Oops. I just got to say, before we go, uh, like I said, we got the new voicemail option uh-huh. for y'all to leave y'all opinions and everything. Uh, the number for that is 567-686-8230. And I also just want to give a shout out to the person I got this idea from was Chicago Bull Central, uh, Hayes. Shout over out there. to Hayes. Shout watch, out to y'all, man. I watch his podcast a lot. I definitely got the idea from him. I don't know where he if he got the idea from anybody or anything, but that's at least where I got the idea from. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. dope ass idea. Great way to involve the community and people that watch. So yeah, appreciate y'all watching. Like and subscribe. Uh this is Hoops Legion. My name is Vaughn. I'm Anthony, aka the Internet's biggest hater. And the real Jeff Teague. <laughs> Bro, you always be something different, bro. Nah, bro. You always different. <laughs> this man, bro. Yes, it's sir. your boy, Dede, man. Yeah. Like, comment, subscribe, man. Yes, sir. And we out. Peace. We out.